Okay, and here we are, everybody, so welcome. We're going to be doing something a little different today. So, I have a little Pokemon adventure, and it's known as Pokemon Black, and it's based on the creepypasta of Pokemon Black, which actually existed before the Gen 5 game, I should add. And this is meant to be a perfect recreation of that story, which I believe is, like, well over 10 years old at this point. Well, it'd have to be if it became before Unova. Anyways, let me just hide the little bear here, and we can play the game. There we go. Check out that title screen. There's nothing there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the text speed to fast, animation off, set it to set. You know why? So if you've seen some stuff I've done before, Sometimes I'll do a run through Kanto with just one Pokemon, and make it's basically a speed run. And that's what we're gonna do with this, as you'll soon see. This will be quite a different solo run. Let's do it. Alright, get ready to the mash. Hello, and welcome to the world of Pokemon. This part's exactly the same. We don't have to ch even check the dialogue, don't worry. I got this right from a garage sale. There was hyper realistic blood and everything. Was my name? Red, of course. And this is my grandson. He's blue. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. You'll see what all th this is all about as we get into it. This will be a normal, a completely normal playthrough of Pokemon, start to finish. You have nothing to fear. Oops. There's a lot of old creepypastas, aren't there? First, let's have good old Oak bring us here. It's unsafe. Wow, Pokemon live in tall grass. Oh, don't worry. I promise you, in just a moment, everything's about to be unsafe for everyone else in the whole region. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Oh, don't worry. Your time's coming, Blue. Oh, four? Ah. First of all, let me don't flub my words already. What about you? What about you? Don't worry. I'm just going to take this Charmander, and then I'm never going to use it. Just completely forget that I even have this Charmander, because it's not going to matter. And good for you! You got a Squirtle! And now... We take a look at our party, and I seem to have a ghost. You know, it's Curse. Let's put that friend up front. Charmander is not getting hecked. This isn't Charmander's adventure. At all. Blue wants to fight. Look at that happy little turtle. I hope you don't get attached to it. Squirtle is too scared to move. Ghost use curse. And it's dead. Level 4. Look at that. Do I need to adjust the volume a little bit? There we go. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Ghost used Curse, but it failed. Doesn't work on uh, trainers I have to refight. Alright. So one thing to note is that this, this game tries to stay as close to the story as possible. And in the story it says you can't use Curse. On trainers, you have to fight again, but you can, it works on the final battle. We don't have to worry about wild Pokémon. We don't need to fight them. We're going as fast as we can, right from the start of the game to the end of the game. And there we go. Every time I go back to Gen 1, I always get a little thrown off from the flashing effect of the, the wild encounter. But there's nothing I can really do about it. There we go. It's annoying in places like uh, the Cinnabar Mansion, but once we get repels, we won't have to worry about that. But this is red, not yellow, so you can't buy repels at uh, Pewter. There we go. There's no reason to take out the wild Pokémon. That'll only uh, prolong things later. Oh, this is the worst Route 1 encounter RNG I've ever seen in my life. This would be a reset if I was really going for a record. Okay. 
So now we're just going on a little adventure. We gotta go see, uh, get Professor Oak's parcel. I don't know why I forgot the word. I'll never need to heal. And I do know that... Curse does not work on other ghost types, which means I have to have a backup plan for Agatha's two Gengar and her Haunter. So I'm probably just gonna have to yeet the Master Ball at one of the legendary birds just for that fight. There we go. Let's go. Yes, I got Oak's package. Very funny, Vampy. That's... I meant to press up, and I pressed right again. Silly me. Didn't accept my input fast enough. I walked one tile into the grass, too. Again, worst RNG I've ever seen for Route 1 encounters. Speedrunners would just be wincing <laughs> right now. I don't think the, the encounter rate's gonna go down. It don't work like that. That wasn't mentioned in the story. What? You have something for me? That's right, no, give me the thing. You could play this like an ordinary game. You can't remove the ghost from your party. No. The ghost is there forever. If you try to deposit it, the game will just say you can't deposit this Pokemon. Because this is based on a creepypasta, the story basically went... Uh, some guy found this random copy of Pokemon that was just a black cartridge with a random sticker, and it had a ghost on it. There we go. So let's do it. Speed! Can't just say the ending. Oh. The audio sounded weird there. I've never seen that happen. Can I nickname the ghost? I didn't get the option. Maybe in Lavender Town. Okay. Damn. Route 1 is swarming me. Th these rats are lucky I'm not in a murderous mood right now. Let's go. Let's go. If I get one more encounter, I'm gonna slap somebody. Let's go. Pokemon, yeah, red, but my starter is a ghost. Ain't that exciting. The goal is to just complete the game as fast as possible. Like, I'm doing one of my solo runs. Which, by the way, has randomly kind of been blown up in the algorithm. That one I did with uh, Suicune and Fire Red is just randomly getting a lot of views again. Alright. I don't even need to go heal. Very good. Whoops. I was actually trying to look up some Pokemon creepypastas the other day in preparation for this, and some of those are really bad. Like, I'm, I'm not even just, like, not even, like, funny bad. Just a lot of them are just really, really bad. I don't know if some of you are, uh, old enough to remember, but back in the day, once there was popular things like Jeff the Killer and all that, or, like, Pokemon Lost Silver, there was, like, a bunch of just teenagers writing the crappiest, like, Pokemon creepypastas. We're just gonna ignore these guys. We're going as fast as we can. I don't even need that antidote. Who cares about it? A lot of them were just bad horror fan fictions, yeah. Buried alive. That's right, the corpse in the game that will kill you. Those bug catchers at the start, they get to be spared. Let's go. Lost Silver is the one when the protagonist loses his arms or something. Bug catcher sent out Weedle. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a kill-all run, because that would take, like, several hours. Alright, so here comes the fun part about Pokemon Black. I give. You're good. You surrender? I'm sorry. And I murdered him. Look at that. Look at that. Press F, chat. I wonder if there's anybody that actually does serious speedrun attempts of this. That'd be really funny. Just who could, like, get through Kanto murdering everybody the fastest. The F is for finally. We don't need Pokemon Centers. Why would I need a Pokemon Center when no one can hit me? I'm invincible. I'm a monster. I'm light years away from facing Brock, but he's about to be six feet under from facing me. That sounded funnier in my head. There we go. Let's go! 
All right, so here we come up to the first boss. Brock has a Geodude. As you can see, it's level 12. My ghost is level 5. Let's see if we can stand up against him. And let's go. Lucky critical hit. That's some god-tier RNG right there. Bad Route 1. And look at that. First boss beaten. Can you believe it? If I was really wanted to save the frames, yeah, I'd not kill any anybody. Alright, so I got the boulder badge. And now I killed Brock. I didn't need to pass it, he's not gonna check me anymore. By the way, when you kill someone and re-enter the area they're in, there's now a tombstone for them. Just gonna show that. Gonna lose a few seconds right there in my PB. So I can't buy repels at Viridian, I checked. Yellow version adds repels there, but uh, you can't get them until like after Mount Moon for red and blue. There we go. So now we get through this as quickly as we can. 11 minutes and we're in already like past Brock. This is amazing pace, world record pace if this was the real game. See, this is the real downside about creepypasta games not being real. Because the one kid who actually did have Pokemon Black in real life, he could just, like, become a speedrun god with his cartridge. Amazing if he could. But sadly, like all creepypasta cartridges, uh, he lost it when he moved. That mystical thing that just, mm, gets everybody. Ghost. Ghost is getting stronger. Look at him go. You beat me again. Again, you say? Well, goodbye. Any percent ghost category, hell yeah. It only applies to Richard and his haunted car cartridge. You can believe this story, or you cannot believe this story. But I swear it happened to me. I don't have the cartridge anymore, I have no proof. None whatsoever, but I swear that a ghost like reach out of my reached out of my screen and tried to strangle me. Oh. The audio got a bit distorted there. This guy got killed. Let's go, keep going. I swear it was all true. Can the ghost be defeated? No, no one can hit the ghost. They're too scared to move. That sound it makes every time uh, the screen goes black, that's uh, the Pokemon's cry distorted into a lower pitch. So it's just them screaming in pain when they die. Don't think much about it. Don't think much about it at all. You also notice that when I uh, curse the Pokemon, they're no longer the, in the Pokeball icon on the trainer's party. Level 12, look at that ghost grow. If I had a new Pokemon, I would have won. Oh, you're not winning any anything else ever again. I can fight with my new Pokemon. Oh, I can fight all right. I can confirm this Pokemon creepypasta is true. I was the garage. I was there when it was being sold. It's a good thing there's no Teddy Ursus in this game, because I would refuse to use Curse on it. But this is Gen 1. Luckily, all the Teddy Ursus are safe in Johto right now. Done like dinner. Alright, and here we go. Oh my, what is with the grass today? This grass has all the frickin', uh, like, encounters. cares about morality when you can speed run. Maybe so. Maybe so. Alright, now we coming up right to Mount Moon. I got no repels, so we're just gonna have to leg it. Let's go. 
No one's here to catch any Pokemon. That lady has a Clefairy, but I'll spare her. Just this once. Of course I gotta use the Pokedoll on Marowak. If I don't do that, I'd have to fight, uh... Well, actually, come to think of it, how am I gonna fight the Chandlers? Hmm. I'm gonna need to catch an extra Pokemon. Maybe I should just get, like, uh, a Gift Eevee? I don't know. But ghosts can't kill the Chandler's ghosts. That's the problem. I can catch other Pokemon. I'm gonna need to, because Curse doesn't work on uh, other ghost types. So, Lavender Town. I took two steps, game. I took two steps. Lavender Town has ghosts, and Agatha has two Gengar and a Haunter. So we're gonna have to... Alright. Did I anger the RNG gods today? What is going on? Why is my encounter rate just so garbage? There we go. The real reason it's called Pokemon Black is because it has a Gen 5 encounter rate. Yeah. ignore that lad. Went a little bit further that time. No problem. No problem. Got away safely. Don't need that moonstone. Not even worth going down for that candy. Nothing really super effective hits. The, um... Oh, there's a Jew dude. Yeah, nothing really super effective hits the ghosts. The ghost types, I should say, in this in this case. Alright, ignore that guy. Okay. Okay. Let's keep running into a Zubat and have ourselves a swell time. There we go. I'm trying to think, should I just use the Eevee? The Eevee would probably be the fastest way to just clear through uh, Lavender Tower once I pick up the Polka Doll. Mm, yeah, that'd be fine. I can give it. I can get the TM for Ice Beam from the top of Celadon and then evolve it to Vaporeon. That'll probably let me sweep the ghost fast enough. I can pick up any extra rare candies. Mew Glitch ain't gonna do anything if I catch it at level 7. And then in the case of dealing with Agatha, maybe I want to catch Zapdos or something. Alright, let's hit you with a, a curse. Team Rocket's Pokemon are dying. So sorry, Zubat, but you don't get to live. And there you go. Team Rocket's dead, yet again. Guess what? You're next! I found these fossils, you're both mine. They're both mine. You're about to become a fossil in a moment, my friend. There it goes. Voltorb is too scared to move. Don't worry, Voltorb will always be too scared to move. Hey, level 14! Wonder what your death sounds like. I have animations turned off, but, um, Ghost's animation still plays regardless. And Moida. Hell yes! Can't take both of them. He can't do anything about it, but he's gone. Oh, there we go. Coughing's distorted cry sounded like Hitmonlee. That yeah, might actually be that. A lot of cries are just slowed down to be reused because of the sound files. Okay, we did it. We made it through. 20 minutes and we're at Cerulean. This is amazing pace right here. Look at us go. Look at us go. Okay, so next up, 
We gotta deal with the fun part of the game. What's the fun part of the game? Picking up a couple extra rare candies so that Zapdos can deal with Agatha better later. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Alright, I'll take that. Is Curse pro really programmed to be ineffective against ghosts? Well, uh, the creator of this hack did try to make it as absolutely accurate to the story as possible, so... There we go. Fix my thing. Every detail that the person who bought this from a garage sale listed. <laughs> it's just... That's just how it works. Alright, so now we're gonna kill Pidgeotto. Ooh, that's a Shriek right there. And a death. Level 15. Will Ghost hit level 100 by the end? Probably not. Abra's too scared to move? It will be. 234. Moida. Moida. You could do a full Pokedex run. Hey, he's got a new Squirtle! This one went to join its brother. And look at us go. Alright, so chat. Something I did actually have. I got a little distracted here. Oh, right, yeah. Can't use it on him because he's still got more encounters. Alright, so we're coming up to the cape. And at the cape here, of course, we all know that this place just spams trainer, like, unavoidable trainers ridiculously. So... What I wanted to do is, I wanted to read some terrible Pokemon creepypastas while we play this, because obviously some elements are going to be a bit repetitive. That's okay. However, when I tried to look for some, as I said before, many of them are garbage. Like, actual garbage. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Like, no, this is terrible and they should feel bad for writing it. Terrible. But, you know, there's always some that are a teensy bit silly. Maybe if I better prepare for something like this in the future, I can just do a full ghost run of something while reading terrible Pokemon spooky pastas. Ooh, good stuff. Hang on, let me just kill this guy. Alright, let's go! Murder percent! Making sure I got the thing here. Oops, clicked out of the game. Alright, you can still see me, right? Because I have... I have a creepypasta open. Do you want me to read it? It's from, like, over a decade ago. Uh, considering some of these comments seem to be from 2013. This one I did see last night, and it's one of those ones where it's so goofy stupid that we can laugh at it. Yes, please. Okay. Alright. Oh, hang on. Let me just kill this last first. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Just keep going. But I'm reading terrible Pokemon spooky pastas right now, of course, of course, of course! Alright, I'll read the one decent one I found that could be funny to read. Alright. Hang on. Just adjusting my volume. So this one is called Top Percentage, and the problem with this wiki here is that it doesn't credit people properly. Because a lot of these are just made in random forum posts from like over a decade ago. And all just kind of collected. Anyways, it's called Top Percentage, and I guess it's about Youngster Joey. Hold up a sec. I'll stretch. I'll stretch. Let's keep holding forward. Now then, let me read it here. When I first bought it, I played Soul Silver obsessively for weeks. I loved everything. The Pokemon, the people, the storyline. My beloved team consisted of Meganium, Espeon, Misdreavus, Ampharos, and Bulpix, and Poliwhirl. I loved them all dearly. And thanks to my Pokewalker, I leveled them all up easily. Another source of amusement for me was the Pokegear. I love that you could have met, or I love that people you had met could ring you up and request a battle. That was worded poorly. Or just rattle on about nothing. My favorite of the regular callers was, of course, the infamous Joey. Joey, of course. He picked Chikorita, that's right. Hey, you know my super cool Ranata? My Ranata is different from the regular Ranata. It's like my Ranata is the top percentage of all Ranata. You know what I'm saying? He'd always say. Then one day, he called me for a battle. Well, this was new. He never asked me for a rematch before. 
As I remembered, he only had his Ranata. Suspecting that his Ranata maybe had risen a few levels, I traveled back to where Joey stood. Hang on, gotta kill this guy. And Team Rocket, dude. I've been waiting, the text read. Wait until you see how much my Ranata has changed. That battle music started and the screen split. To my surprise, Ranata had become Eradicate. I couldn't put my finger on it, but there was something different about its claws. They were yellowish and had a brick pattern, like they belonged to another Pokemon. But at that time, I didn't give it much thought. As expected, Joey's Raticate had grown to level 30. I sent out Espeon. Raticate attacked first and used Dig, which was strange. I didn't think Raticate could learn Dig. I'm pretty sure it can, right? Right? Anyway, it was no match for my Espeon, who creamed him with Psychic. Raticate fell with a scrambled cry that was different to how I remember. But again, I didn't think much of it. The screen returned to the overworld. Oh, all right, Joey's text said. But I won't lose to you again. Ranata will be stronger the next time we meet. And Team Rocket's dead. Good. Oh, all right, Joey. <laughs> I giggled. Joey was still calling his Raticate uh, a Ratata. How funny. How funny, funny, funny. I need to scroll down for the next bit of text. It was a few days later. I had beaten the game or the final gym before the Elite Four. I was about to head to Victory Road when I got a call from Joey. He wanted to battle again. I thought it'd be some okay experience, so I flew back to Route 30 and talked to Joey. The battle started, and this time I knew something was horribly wrong. Raticate was sporting an orange, fiery tail like that of a Rapidash. In addition, the area around its new tail was a purplish-red color, like it was bruised or bleeding, and I could see grotesque stitches holding the tail on. What had Joey done to it? It was like he'd sewn a Rapidash's tail onto Raticate. When the Raticate used Flamethrower, I realized with horror that that was exactly what he'd done. Oh god, what is he doing? He set the rat on fire. Uh, hang on, I lost my place. Raticate let out a scrambled noise. It sounded like it was in pain. Raticate was hurt, the text read. Raticate's health went down by a quarter. Flamethrower didn't affect the user, so I was confused until I realized that Raticate was not used to by using fire attacks, and its body was being damaged by the foreign attack type. Yeah, that's a leap of logic right there. I didn't want to hurt the Raticate further, but I had to. Just like I had to murder that last there. Let's keep going. You're next. There we go. Hang on, I lost my type. I sent out Poliwhirl and used Surf. It was super effective, and Raticate fainted. Well, it looks like you heard it there, author. When we returned to the overworld, Joey said, And yet another loss, no doubt about it. You're tough. Being beaten this often is actually pretty good now. Still, I wish my Ranata was stronger. It's Eradicate. I screamed at the DS. Stop calling it that. Stop hurting it. <laughs> I love that. The author wrote that they screamed at their DS. How dare you do that to him, Joey? How dare you hurt that animal? Just imagining some kid, like, holding their DS, just, like, pointing their finger at him, like, how dare you? <laughs> Joey, of course, didn't hear me. Instead, he gave me an iron. I promised myself that I would never battle Joey again, even if he called me. A couple weeks passed and I had entered the Kanto region. I had almost forgotten about Joey when I received his call. And dead guy there. Hang on, let me just get over to the next battle. Just gonna get that last with the Oddish going. And I lost my I lost my place here. Where was I? Let me see here. Uh, I had almost forgotten about Joey when I received his call, inviting me to battle. I ignored it and continued down Route 5. After a few steps, however, he called again. This time, when I picked up, I heard Radicate's cry. Where are you going? Route 30 is the other way. I shrieked and threw my DS away from me. It clattered onto the floor and stayed there. Afraid I had broken it, I picked it up and after a few minutes. It hadn't, so I continued playing. <laughs> he shrieked at the DS. No matter where I tried to go, I would only go a few steps before Joey called me with the same freaky message. I decided to face the music and battle him. Stealing myself for what I might see, I entered the battle. Okay, hang on, I gotta get myself into position to mash here. 
This certainly makes the cape a lot more bearable, reading the spooky, dumb story where I can just mash A. Okay, I gotta look at the game for a second. You're gonna have to wait. I'm giving you a cliffhanger. Let's go. Gotta get the SS ticket, and then we gotta go beat up Missy. This is the good story. This is the good entertaining story. A lot of them are, like, very bad and cliche, and written by, like, uh, like a seven-year-old. Because it's all one paragraph. We're still trying to go fast here, so let's just get through this. Game audio is not too loud, is it? Alright. Again, this was kind of an idea I did on a whim last night, so I don't really have a full list of stories prepared. Anyways. Oh, look, there, there, there's that, there, they're dead. Yep. There's my handiwork right there. I did that. I killed them. Oh, boy. Yeah, Yo-Yo tried to, oh, look, there they are. Yo-Yo tried to look some up last night as well, and yes, they were very cringy. Cerulean Graveyard. Okay, let's go ahead and just beat up Misty first. Let's get in here. Dead people are teddy-tastic. Not quite, but they're good enough. All right. Don't worry, I know you're on the edge of your seat, but it's time for more of the story. Decided to face the music and battle him, stealing myself for what I might see, I entered the battle. Radicate had a pair of white-blue wings attached to his sides, as well as the Rapidash tail. Maybe from a Pelipper. The area around where the wings were stitched on was horribly messy and red. Radicate went first and used Water Pulse. It hardly harmed my mischievous, but the words Radicate was hurt flashed across the screen and took a third of its health. I took the rest with Psybeam. Took the rest of her with that. Misty time. I got called back two more times during that month, and each time the attacks it used, Thundershock and Razor Leaf, would take more of its health until I knew the next time we fought. That, that, that's worded very strangely. I don't know what that means. I wouldn't have to attack at all. When he did call me, I knew I couldn't escape, so I just went along with it. By now, Radicate was so gory and full of stitches that I could hardly recognize it. I felt like crying. Radicate now wore an Obi-like sash around its waist. And its eyes were blue and had a purplish hue to them. I had no idea what new Pokémon had died to disfigure that damned Radicate further. But I decided it didn't matter. Radicate used Ice Beam. This did a surprising amount of damage to, to my Ampharos, but as I suspected, the damage Radicate took depleted its health bar completely. Oh boy. Hang on, I gotta look at the game. We're just gonna keep going. He could just stop playing the game. You think this person would stop playing the game when they're so dramatic they gotta throw their DS and yell at Joey? Anyways, Misty's dead, I'm afraid. You won't be seeing Misty ever again. That's just how the world works. You're next. Not your yard, but be a tombstone in this yard. Let me see here. Radicate used Ice Beam. This did a surprising amount of damage to my Ampharos, but as I suspected, the damage Radicate took depleted its health bar completely. Radicate let out an anguished yowl and disappeared from the screen. Expecting to see the words Radicate fainted, I was shocked and horrified to read the words Radicate has died. Instead, I stared at the screen. Dead? Radicate can't be dead. You can't die in a Pokemon game. That's not how it worked. Joey said something different too. Radita, what's wrong? When I tried talking him to him again, nothing happened. Thoroughly spooked, I left for Kanto again. It actually says thoroughly spooked. I was so spooked by the spooky Pokemon game. The rat had died. Anyways, we gotta get into another position here. Ghost in this game is the rat attack. No, 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 no. The ghost in this game is the garage. We've been over that. I was there at the yard sale, I know. Okay, let's get through here. Ghost is number zero. So it's very tricky. It'd be funny as hell if I find a way to soft lock this game. That'd be a funny Halloween video. Just another good way for old Pika Spray to milk Gen 1 again. Hang on, what am I doing? I just gotta go through the grass. Hang on, we gotta get to the trainers. This is a speed run. We gotta kill them. And, alright, where was I? 
thoroughly spooked, I left for Kanto again. I wanted nothing more than to forget this incident. I was convinced that I would never have to battle Joey again. His only Pokemon having apparently died. I was wrong. The, the I was wrong is just one solo paragraph. Like, it's meant to be dramatic, by the way. Just one line. I was wrong. I was about to enter Mount Silver when I got the call. I swore when I saw it was Joey. What more could he do with the dead Raticate? Knowing it was useless to ignore the call, I flew all the way back to where he stood. For some reason, his sprite never changed. I couldn't see what it was. Uh, I, I walked in a weird spot there. I forgot her sprite disappears. Couldn't see what it was because when the sprite was too small, I also noticed that the trainer that used to stand next to Joey was nowhere to be seen. I talked to Joey. The text read, I've become one with Rattata and become much stronger. Are you ready? The battle began. I almost threw up. Joey, or what was left of him. Oh, hey, Raticate, perfect timing. Stood in place of where his Raticate once stood. His hair was matted with blood and his face horribly disfigured by his new buck teeth, fur, and mangled claws. The stitches holding his body together were badly sewed. And every time his nose twitched, a fresh drop of blood fell from the tip of his snout. And it, that's how you know this is fake, because everyone knows Gen 4 did not have animated sprites like this. At least, come on, try and sell the story a little better. Can't take it anymore, it's too scary. I'm sorry, but yeah, I have to keep going. I'm surprised how much of the game I've covered while reading this piece of crap. <laughs> this is from over 10 years ago, so open season. I'm sure the creator don't even like this anymore, either. Why did I heal? Uh, damn, my muscle memory just took over while I was reading the story. You're right. Why did I do that? <laughs> Anyways, I got a ticket. Let's get in here. Let's get back to uh, Joey's mutated body. Well, actually, I should just get myself to uh, into a battle with a rival first. Actually, I should pick up the rare candy here later for Zapdos, shouldn't I? I think it was this one. There's a rare candy on board, and I want to pick it up so I can... Because I need something to fight. There we go. To fight uh, Gengar and stuff later. Anyways, uh, let me see here. Joey's mangled claws, stitches holding his body together, fresh drop of blood, yada yada yada. Joey had sewn the parts he had hacked off Raticate onto himself. The image was so terrifying, so horrible, that I could barely look at him. Joey used Hyper Fang. The attack hit my Ampharos, but did crap all damage. Joey's health went down one-fifth. It was my turn to attack. I used Thunder, hoping I'd get lucky on my first try. However, a text box appeared on the screen. Ampharos is too terrified to move. I cursed. Joey attacked again, this time with Crunch. This did a lot more damage. More than half of Ampharos' health was gone now. Joey's health depleted a little bit more. When I tried to attack, Ampharos was again too terrified to move. I just realized I need to catch an HM user. I need to... Uh... Charmander can be used for cut. But I just realized, yes, I need to do that. Vaporeon would be good for Surf, then. The ghost can't learn cut. <laughs> Alright, uh, where was I? Ampharos too terrified to move. Joey attacked again with Crunch, did a lot more damage. More than half of Ampharos' health was gone now. Joey's health depleted a little more. When I tried to attack, Ampharos was again too terrified to move. Hoping I could wait it out until he, uh, made himself faint, I mashed the A button. Joey used Crunch again. Ampharos' health bar ran out and he fainted. I brought out Mistrevis so that it wouldn't be affected by any normal moves. He just used Crunch. That's a good idea, author. This turned out to be a good move as Joey used Double Edge. Oh, yes, Joey is too stupid to use Crunch again. Mistrevis was unaffected. Joey was hurt. There was an ungodly cry as Joey fell from the screen. Joey has died. My player was sent back to the overworld. Joey's mangled sprite was in front of me. Oh, right, I can't curse him. Duh. Thanks for the guest sub there, friend. Appreciate that. Hang on, let's get cut now before I can continue this little, uh, little story. We're almost to the end. We're almost to the end. I'm so sorry. Just a teensy bit more. 
Rub the captain's back. Radicate features still visible. I realized I was silently crying, my tears splattering onto the touch screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just sounds so stupid. <laughs> like, just dramatically crying for the Joey. <laughs> my tears splashed onto my Nintendo DS's touchscreen. <laughs> okay. In a state of shock, I stood there, not moving. Silently cr uh... Sorry, hang on a second, I lost my place. For a full five minutes, I was unable to draw a coherent thought through my mind. Eventually, I brought my Ampharos to the Pokemon Center. When the nurse gave him back, she said, Whatever happened to this Pokemon, don't let it happen again. From then on, Ampharos could never fight Eradicate again. He would always be too terrified to move. I know. I don't know why I headed back to where Joey once stood. I just felt like I had to do it. When I arrived, Joey was nowhere to be seen. In his place was an item. I picked it up. It was an iron. And that's the end. That was a story. Hang on, let me just close this down now. All right. And that's the why it was the one I decided to read because Joey sewed Eradicate Corpse to himself to become the top percentage. It was so silly. It was the iron from Joey's blood. Oops, I'm healing again. I just instinctively do that. Let me go ahead and just get this here. Fortunately, I couldn't find any other good ones. They were too silly. Armander learned cut. A. Read some of the bad ones, too. I know, but, like, you have to vet the bad ones. Some of them are so bad that, like, you don't even want to read them. Like, I'm talking about the ones where it's, like, weirdos, like, putting, like, their not-so-subtle kinks in there. Oh, yeah, I gotta do this. Hey, there's a switch under the trash can. Turn it on. All right, let's see if I can get the 50-50 on the glitch input. Ah! Nope, there's only trash here. There's always a 50% chance that the second one will always be the top left, no matter what. That's why this one, this puzzle's busted. There we go. Nope. Nope, there's only trash here. Nope, there's only trash here. And now I'm gonna have bad luck. Couldn't just be satisfied with the free one, huh? Nope, there's only trash here. Oh my god, are you serious? Hey, there's a switch under the trash can. Turn it on. Hang on. I have to make the second one be up here, because I need to show people I'm not lying. Darn it. I wonder if the dev patched it. You see here. Nope, there's only trash here. And suddenly, the first one is taking forever to get. Hey, there's a switch under the trash can. Turn it on. First electric lock opened. The second electric lock opened, see? Told you. Alright, now it's kill surge. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? It won't last long in combat, that's for sure. Weirdos fantasizing about being tormented by a malevolent Gardevoir spirit. I found at least four of those last night. I'm not even exaggerating. And that is why I'm not going to read those ones. <laughs> and Voltorb's dead. You would be surprised how many ones are about Gardevoir and are not very subtle about things. There we go. Again, for every good- for every hilarious one, there's like... ten more people- ten more written by people that really hoped it would go viral. There we go. Yeah, you found some of the, some like that too, Yo-Yo, I'm telling you. It's a bit weird. Hang on in just a second. I just need to adjust the volume a little bit. Hm. Ouch. Goodbye, Surge. And that's that! Next HM, I don't need to worry about that for a bit. I do need to catch something for Fly as well, don't I? The guy threw his DS and cried at the touchscreen. I know, it's so dramatic, I love it! There we go. Hey, they're dead! Okay, so now that I got cut, I need to go through Rock Tunnel.
Oops. No, 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 I don't need to take out the wild Pokemon. I need to catch the wild Pokemon. To do that, I kind of need Pokeballs. I'll probably just buy some when I'm, like, uh, getting the Poke Doll. I don't know. Hang on a second, I'll hydrate, all right. We're going back through this place now. Always a good time. Ah. Oh. I can always just look at, uh, the most popular ones. Except a lot of those can be kind of bad, too. This, I mean, this one is one of the more popular ones, of course. Pokemon Black, of course. I, why did I say of course so much? I'm just, I'm, bleh. Ignore me. I didn't get the bike. Oh, well, it's fine. Not going back for it now. It's kind of a pain. In fact, if I use the bike, we just have to hear the bike music the whole time, and I kind of hate that now, to be honest. There we go. Looked like you were in the grass for a second, Missy. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Junior Trainer sent out Oddish. I'm sorry. We, I can't get over the fact that Joey combined himself with the Raticate Corpse. It didn't make much sense to me. I'm sorry, but it's just silly. I don't think there's any Gen 9 pastas, and I don't think I'd want to look up that right now. Hey, Ghost through to level 26. Yeah, bike music stays forever in Gen 1, and that's a reason I kind of don't want to use it. <laughs> the bike is so... ugh. And goodbye, Missy. Don't need that. We'll never need that. Who's next here? Go, my super bug Pokemon. Hang on. Let me see if I should just, like... Hang on. I gotta fix the thing so it stops pausing when I click out. I have time to click through stuff when I'm opening things. Boo, boo, boo. I'm trying to carefully look as I mash the button. A lot of these are silly, to say the least. It's just hard to imagine because they do actually delete a lot of these. Let me see here. Trying to take a quick look here. Lost Silver is a classic one. It's one of those ones that got, like, really popular for some weird reason. But was really si It was just such a silly, silly thing, though. It's the one where, like, gold shows up with, um... Like, they're, they lose their arms, and an unknown just kind of, like, spells out death or something. <laughs> there we go. All right, first, let's get into Rock Tunnel. I'll read Lost Silver. How about that? That one's popular enough that I don't think there's anything weird, that weird in it. Like, look, I don't want to read one of these. Like, I, scanning this page right here, I see at least a couple that have Meloetta in the title, and that's a big yikes, probably. I don't even want to read those ones either. You know how Pokemon fans can be. All right, I'll read Lost Silver, because I want to do more some more of these. Lost Silver was one that did spook a lot of kids. There's, in fact, there's already, there's a bunch of games that recreate Lost Silver as well. Okay. I'll just carefully read it. If there's anything too spicy, I'll just, uh, just, uh, skip over it. Okay, I have the page open now. I've kind of been, like, carefully shuffling to it as I mash buttons for the ghost. I don't know if it's bad, I'm just saying. Okay. I know my way through Rock Tunnel without Flash, so, uh... Just ma let me make sure I'm going the right way first. If you guys want more more streams like this, I can arrange for it. I can do, like, a Ghost Monotype playthrough for, like, a, a Gen 3 game or something. And I can just get a bunch of spooky stories that are all vetted together and I can read them. That'll be fun. Of course, I love this. It's funny. Uh, wrong thing. Okay, first let me get into another battle. 
Okay, there's next trainer. Okay, Pokemon Lost Silver. I like how this this page is tagged as Historical Archive. I find that amusing. Any stories with Teddy Ursa? There better not be. You see, I am a simple college student living alone in an apartment. I was very enthusiastic about the release of Pokemon HeartGold Soul Silver here in the States. I have purposely locked myself out of all media and the internet aside for school purposes. As I was busy... Hang on. Alright, next trainer. As I was busy with the school year and being poor at the time, I wasn't able to buy Soul Silver on its launch date. And after my school year ended, I ordered Soul Silver on Amazon. However, it would take a week for it to arrive. I decided that during that time, I would replay my Crystal version on my Game Boy Color. However, I realized that long ago, my mom threw it away because I told her the save went dead. And I was very upset about it then. She also threw away my Silver version, so all I have is my Game Boy Color. As such, I set out to a GameStop and bought a used Silver version. GameStop was still selling Silver version? When... HeartGold Soul Silver was new? No, they were not. That's the first. That's the first red flag that this is not real. <laughs> Two thousand nine. That's not when it was coming out. There we go. Right? Yeah, I think it was. That was two thousand nine. But there's no way they were selling Game Boy games at GameStop. They were really. I guess they never did that in Canada. Anyways, I'm. Um, Oh, there's another trainer. There we go. Costume players. Means cosplayers. Anyways, I sent out to GameStop and bought a used silver version. It's the only Pokemon game left they have for the GBC. Ten dollars. Fairly cheap. Anyway, sorry Charmander, you gotta die. I went home and I started it up for a nostalgia trip. However, that's where things started getting bizarre. And most likely the reason why you're reading this right now. The Game Freak logo started up as normal, but it just froze there. I thought the cart was just errored or something, so I turned it off and on. The same thing happened. I tried pressing A over and over. All the buttons. Eventually, the logo vanished, and there was a black screen for about five seconds. Suddenly, rather than going to the usual menu screen, I was already in the game in a previous saved file, which was odd, as I was expecting all of these carts to have been wiped out by the battery. Hang on. We find the next part. Ten dollars for silver version? Yeah, that's pretty unbelievable. Your GameStop has a retro lockup area you can buy from. That's cool. I guess they don't really have anything like that for me. Okay, next trainer. Let me get my place here again. I tried pressing A over and over and all the buttons. Eventually the logo vanished and there was just a black screen for five seconds. Suddenly, rather than going to the usual menu screen, I was already in the game in a previous save file. Which was odd, as I was expecting all of these carts to have been wiped by the poor battery. Oh, I just read that one, sorry. <laughs> Either way, I wasn't complaining, as I would have chosen the continue option to see what the previous guy did anyway. First off, I checked his trainer information. His name was just dot dot dot. He didn't have much originality. I love when they get smug. I checked his profile, and apparently he had 999.99 hours put into the game. All 16 badges, and the max amount of money, and all 251 Pokémon in the Pokédex. Seems he apparently had Mew and Celebi logged as well. Okay, let me just get to the next part. Okay, there it is. I'm guessing he either used a Game Genie, or was a really hardcore Pokemon player back then. I checked his Pokemon to see what a badass team he had. <laughs> what badass Pokemon this 10-year-old rocking. Well, we got Charizard? Bro, that's pretty sick. That is, like, lit, yo. The timer caps at 999.59, so we made a mistake. <gasps> You're right. Phoenix right point out that contradiction. I checked his Pokemon to see what a badass team he had. To my surprise, I saw five unknowns and a six Pokemon named Hurry. I'm thinking that this must be some cruel joke by the person who last played the game, but I decided to check the profiles of these Pokemon anyway. As expected, they were different letters of unknown, all level five. I was a bit shaky with my unknown alphabet at the time, but I identified the word spelled out to be leave. Hang on, let's kill this guy. 
and encounter. As for the sixth Pokemon, it turned out to be a Cyndaquil. Mind you, this was before there were indiv individual Pokemon icons. The Cyndaquil looked normal, but it was level 5 with only 1 HP and only 2 attacks. Leer and Flash. I don't know why they named him Hurry, but at the time, I just disregarded it. The most eerie thing was that despite my volume being at max, none of the Pokemon he had said their usual cries. Just pure silence. Get the next encounter. I think I'm gonna sneeze. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. I just had to mute quickly. Ugh. And next battle is... There he is. Bikers leave twigs as trail markers. Let me see here. It's just pure silence. Having enough of the team, I closed it. I was parked at what appears to be a room inside Bellsprout Tower. However, for some reason, there were no NPCs around. Even more eerie was that the pillar in the middle didn't move at all, as if it was just leaning on its side. There was no music at all, and there was no exit or ladder. Or at least I thought there wasn't. I walked around for a few minutes, but I can't seem to find a way out. This was certainly not a room I've seen in Bellsprout Tower before. I tried checking my items for an escape rope, but the bag was completely empty. There wasn't any wild Pokemon either. Finally, I found a ladder. Hold up. There's the next one. Which turned out to be behind the pillar. The screen turned black and the music finally started playing. I had a sudden chill, as I recognized the melody I heard to be the theme you hear when you listen to the radio at the Alf Ruins where the Unknown were at. That's quite a sentence there. I immediately realized that it wasn't a loading transition, but rather, I was in a dark room, and I would need Flash. Before I took care of that, though, I immediately checked my polka gear to change the radio to something more pleasant. But it turns out there was no radio card, or even a phone, or time cards. There was only the map card, which in gold from earlier, and I will call him gold from now on, was just walking in the midst of black. Recall that Cyndaquil had Flash, so I turned off my Pokegear and made Cyndaquil use Flash. I didn't see any message saying Hurry used Flash or anything like that. The room just became lit, just like that. I soon regretted it. The room was a chilling blood red with a linear gray path heading south. The ladder I used to go up and down was not there at all. I had no choice but to head south. The screen got darker every five steps I made, until I finally made it to the end, which appears to be a sign. I read the sign, which said, Turn back now. Ooh! Spooky. Suddenly I was asked to answer yes or no, but there was no question asked. I just chose yes, as I did not know what it was asking. Okay, establish that. And the screen went black again, making a ladder climb noise. The unknown radio music stopped, and in a few seconds was replaced with a not-so-creepy not polka flute music on the radio. I was in another dark room, but I held my breath and used Flash again. Suddenly it said that Hurry had fainted, which was odd since I recall there was no status condition like poison on him. And I clearly wasn't in a battle. Okay, we're almost out of Rock Tunnel. Let's get through here. Let's see here, and clearly I wasn't in a battle. I checked my Pokemon quickly and suddenly he was no longer in my party. In fact, after a bit of investigating, none of my Pokemon were there, but instead all replaced with level 10 unknown. I did the same thing as before and spelled out the unknown. My, t <laughs> my then team of unknown spelled, he died. <laughs> he died. The Unknown said so. Either way, after that creepy change, the room was lit to reveal myself in a very small room that appears to be only four squares big. The walls of that room were gray bricks, as if I was inside something that was hollowed out. Inside that room appears to be a bunch of graves similar to the ones in red and blue. I've walked around that small room and pressed A, but nothing happened. I've already concluded this was clearly a hacked game, and some sadistic F sold it to GameStop. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that just sounds so stupid. 
However, my curiosity kept me going. I checked the trainer profile of dot 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 again to find out that the Sprite of Gold was missing his arms. He also appeared to be less smug, but rather seemed more sad and empty in a way that I did not know how to describe. For some reason, it also now said that he had 24 badges, which was clearly impossible. Alright, let me just kill you. Just a few more battles here. Oh, but this one's quite long, ain't it? It's still going. Who's gonna die next? Alright. We're almost to the last trainer, just let me get there. Geodude and his bumpy head. Okay. Came this far. Hmm, maybe I should test if Curse, like... When the story said, uh... Curse doesn't work on ghosts, does it mean the ghosts, like, unidentified by the self-scope? Or will it still work on the, um... Or will it still work on ghost-type Pokémon? Alright, I'll, I'll have to check that. I don't remember the- I feel like I need to check the wording on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, how technical that is. Okay, where was I at? 24 badges, which was clearly impossible. Hang on, I gotta kill her. And get out. Okay, we're out. Ignore you. Alright, we're coming up to Lavender Town. Hang on a second, I have to mute the audio. I gotta minimize this. Lavender Town gets claimed. As we all know. So let me just get out of here. There we go. Much better. Okay, so now let's get through this route. Alright. Let me open up the story again. There's a bunch of trainers to go through here, so we'll just deal with this. Where was I? 24 badges, which was clearly impossible. After a few minutes of aimless wandering, my character suddenly spun and did the escape rope spinning animation. Instead of flying up, though, my character spun downward slowly, as if sinking. And I just killed that Clefairy. That would make mine a mad. Stop. Don't be mean to Clefairy. Never. I'll show you mean. Alright, and now I gotta get through this. Who's the next mandatory trainer here? Okay, looks like I only needed to fight the one guy. Perfect. Let's go to Celadon. Alright. After that, the music, sh the music stopped, and after finally landing, the overworld sprite of gold is colored differently now. Instead of the usual red color he dons, he appears completely white, including his skin, as if he came straight from the colorless Game Boy games placed into a colored background of the Game Boy Color. Alright. I checked his profile, and now... Uh... While now... And now, while now... Why'd they write it like that? That's weird. Anyways, I gotta get the Eevee, because I need Vaporeon for surfing later. Okay. Run-on sentences right there. Let me focus, I don't wanna bonk into a wall. Let me see here. Okay, Eevee. Grammar is ruining your immersion. Yes, it is. Alright, I gotta pick up a Water Stone and a Polka Doll from the exact same dude in Celadon, so that's fine. I'm gonna... I should also pick up a TM Ice Beam, because I might need to use Vaporeon to deal with Ghastly and Haunters, because I don't know for sure if the game uh, actually does do that. I don't have to go to the Rocket Hideout, don't worry about that. Um... Yeah, let me just get the... I'll continue the story in a second. Let me just do the shopping. Okay. Fourth floor, was it? Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay. Waterstone. 
polka doll. And that's all there. Excellent there. Yeah, I know, I might get soft -locked. I'm gonna save at some point. This is a speed run, I don't have to save right now. I can also just go beat up Erica right quick. More trainers to beat up while we deal with this. Okay, Waterstone. What Eevee's evolving? Oh, I forgot to get the uh, vending machine items for Ice Beam and getting into Saffron. I wonder if I should just go get the bike at this point. I don't even need it for Cycling Road, though. <laughs> it's just annoying to pull up the menu over and over, and I'm reading the stories over it anyway. Hang on. Let me go to the top. We'll continue the story in a second. Okay. Lost some time doing this, but that's okay. I need two fresh water. to you. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. You can have this for me. TM13. Ice Beam can freeze a target. This is a backup plan in case I can't curse the ghosts. Because Vaporeon's not going to have Surf for a while. What level is it? 25. Okay, that's perfect for getting through Lavender Town. All the way to the bottom now. Don't need counter. Counter's freaking garbage and always will be. On Gen 1 anyway. Alright, let's go beat up Erica now while I continue to read the stories. Just let me get myself into a position where I can mash the button. We'll get- we'll continue on with the armless gold in a second. Few trainers you gotta beat up in here. That's no big deal. I'm done with all my menuing for the last- next little bit, I think. I just gotta remember to use the polka doll carefully against the Marowak ghost, assuming that's how it still works. Okay. Let's just fight these two. We have to go through trainers regardless. Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. All right, where was I at? Okay, as if it was color in the background of Game Boy Color. I checked his profile now, and now, while now, is, is as white as his overworld sprite. He lost his legs and has what appears to be bloody tears from his eyes. It also says he now has 32 badges, which now starts to disturb me as the change in number seems to represent something. I also checked my Pokemon, which this time contains five unknowns and a level 100 Celebi without a nickname. The unknown are this time level 15 and are spelling out dying. I checked the Celebi's profile. It was a shiny Celebi, except there's only half the sprite. One leg, one arm, one eye, and it only had one attack. Parish Song. The area I was in was the Sprout Tower with the immobile pillar as before. Except everything is apparently red now. I walked north for what felt like forever. Eventually, I finally encountered some generic man and woman NPC. They were all lined up to the side, just facing the long, slantish pillar in the middle. They were also white, and nothing happens when I try to speak to them. I kept going on north until eventually the pillar finally appeared chopped off. With a transparent red in that spot, I went up to red, and without even pressing A, I was suddenly engaged and finally in a battle. The music starts again, which it sounds like the unknown radio music again. Hang on, let me get to Erica. Radio music, where was I? Let me see here. Yeah, uh, I can't find my place now. Kept going north until I walked up the red and we entered a battle. The music starts again, with, which it sounds like the unknown radio music, but played backwards. Gold's battle back sprite. 
matches his front one with his bloody eyes, white skin, lack of arms. While Red Sprite was the same as before in GSC, except transparent, the text simply said, wants to battle. As if he has no name, and both of us only have one Pokemon each, which is weird, as I swore I had six with the unknowns. Yeah, that's what's weirding you out, author. That's what's weirding you out now. My shiny Celebi came out, conveniently with half a sprite for the back sprite. Also, the shiny noise and animation was different, as the sounds it made sounds like multiple screech attacks used consecutively. Red sent out a normal male Pikachu, except he is level 255 and his sprite seems sad and has tears in his eyes. Okay. Oh, so I killed Erica. The Pikachu was sad! Oh no! The Pikachu was sad in level 20, 255. Wrong thing. There we go. Rather than the usual fight item Pokemon run menu, I was given the option to use attacks. Since Celebi only had one, I chose it. Naturally, since Pikachu was level 255, he went first. Pikachu used Curse, lowering his speed and increasing his other stats. I'm not even sure if Pikachu could use Curse. Celebi used Parish Song. In three turns, both Pokemon got KO'd. Not like I had a choice. At this point, it didn't even go back to the fight menu as the battle continued without me. Also note there were no animations at all for some reason. <laughs> okay. No animations at all. Pikachu used Flail, which didn't do much damage at all, despite his level and the boost as his health was maxed. Celebi used Parasong. Nothing happens as it was already used. Pikachu used Frustration, which did a, which did a crap ton of damage, knocking Celebi down to less than 10 HP. Celebi used Pain Split, which surprised me as Celebi didn't even have that attack in the first place. Now Celebi and Pikachu have about 150 HP. Pikachu used Mean Look, not like it did anything. As expected, due to the effects of Parasong, my Celebi fainted, except in text it said Celebi has died, and instead of an ordinary drop off the screen animation, the Celebi back sprite just vanished. For some reason, the Pikachu was still up, even with the Parasong, and it didn't count as my loss. Pikachu used one more different attack beyond the normal five attack, beyond the five attack limit. That's written bit terribly, that's not what that means. Pikachu used Destiny Bond. Afterwards, it said Pikachu has died in a slow fade-out animation. Apparently, I was the winner as the transparent red sprite showed up and said dot dot dot. At that point, I just freaked out. What were you doing up until that point? Were, were you just in a calm state with nothing weird happening? Anyways, hang on. We're about to enter Lavender Town. Audio muted. Alright, let's find out if I can... Uh, do this to ghosts. Hang on. Alright. A little Charmander go. We need to find out. Well, actually, I have to fight the uh, rival first. Hey, Red, what brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. <sighs> that was kind of weird. Just hyper realistic blood everywhere. Can you believe this crap? Let me see, Celebi died, Pikachu had five moves, Destiny Bond, it cries, yada yada yada. I'm back in the overworld with another change to the gold sprite. He's now as transparent as Red's overworld sprite. I quickly checked Gold's profile, where this time, the only thing remained of him was his head. With transparent skin, the head was zoomed in a bit, showing a black void in his eyes. And now stated that he has 40 badges. I then backed out and checked my Pokemon. They were all level 20 shiny unknown, which spelled out no more. I was at what I now know to be... Wait, what? This is written weird. I was at what I now know is next to the end. Why would you write it like that? Just write you're almost to the end. <laughs> There was apparently no music playing, but for some reason I still felt like something was there that could be heard. I was back in my room in New Bark Town. Maybe I finally got to play this game properly, but who am I kidding? <laughs> who am I kidding, dear readers? Alright, can't curse you. 
How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I should make a save now before things get bad. I knew that some sadistic F must have done something. Oh, now they're cursing. Now they're cursing because they're freaked out. It's a character trait. Gotta yeah, respect it. I walked around my room and interacted with things, as I'm a bit afraid to go down the stairs to see what was waiting there. Alright, I know I can't curse the ghosts when they show up like this. So, let me just see what happens. But it failed. Get out, get out. Alright, I need to find out when I find a Chandler. Hang on. What'll happen here? Before I continue, I need to make sure that I can use it on Ghost Pokemon, or if I have to switch in Vaporeon for this. This will determine how I handle the rest of the game, for sure. Okay, it works on Ghastly Haunter Gengar. We don't have to worry about anything. I can solo this with just Ghost. I guess it only, the wording only meant, uh, real ghosts. Are you saying that the story is fake? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Who are you to say that? Accusing! Hang on. Their, their tombstones will blend right in, won't they? Oops, I walked an extra step up. So I can just solo this with Ghost. It really can just be a solo speedrun, huh? Alright, uh, where was I at? Shiny Unknown said no more. Uh, I knew the sadistic F must have done something. I walked around my room to interact with things, as I'm a bit afraid to go down the stairs to see what was waiting down there. Note I said walked, as while the background was moving, gold was not moving, his transparent limbs at all while doing so, just floating like those ghosts you see in Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> this was before Platinum. That's how old this story is. Anyways, move you out of the way with this. I didn't save, did I? Oh well. As expected, the radio, computer, and TV did not work, so I had no choice but to go down the stairs. I ended up in the same lower level room of my house. Everything appeared normal, except Mom isn't home. After failing to interact with anything in this room, I decided to go outside. To my surprise, the door leading outside at the south didn't work. Instead, I just walked straight into a void. I continued moving south. Uh, to see what the F was going on. They just keep dropping the F word in there, because why the hell not now? I had to find out what the F was going on. My house vanished as I head south into the void. It was creepy, and when I entered the void, the outline on Gold's transparent sprite turned white to contrast, the pitch black. Eventually, I reached a white area, and Gold's sprite turned black and transparent again. I continued south without thinking of stopping at all. After a long trek south, I finally encountered something. It was Gold's regular sprite. I talked to it. He said, Goodbye forever. A dot dot dot. And vanished. As that happened, it said, Dot dot dot, use nightmare. Which at that point, I would not deny that being possible. Gold did another escape rope animation, spinning slowly downwards like before. I'm now back into the small, hollowed-out room surrounded by graves earlier. Or at least, I say I was back there, as there's no sprites anymore. I tried to walk around, but nothing moved. Not even a wall-bumping noise. I checked my trainer profile with absolutely no gold sprite at all. It said I had zero badges, and all the pictures of the Johto Gym Leaders were replaced with skulls. <laughs> And then they were all replaced by a skull, because they all died. <laughs> I checked my Pokemon, which were all level 25 unknown. As expected, it spelled out a phrase that I dared to read. I'm dead. <laughs> as soon as I went back to the overworld, the room I was supposedly was in. I was supposedly in... I was in was then covered with the sun blocks as the walls. Write this in plain English, please. I then figured out exa what exactly that room was when the final text said R.I.P. 
The room was a big grave surrounded by other graves. Gold has already been dead. He does he died presumably a few years after he defeated Red. You're just making this up as you go along. You don't know that. You don't know wh where is this information coming from? He was a young trainer who, despite his efforts in collecting so many badges and attempts at becoming a ma Pokemon master... Hang on. Let me just use the Pokedoll. There we go. And we're good. Now we just gotta kill Team Rocket. Let me see here. Let's see, I'm dead, R.I.P. The room was a big grave surrounded by other graves. He was a young trainer who, despite his efforts in collecting so many badges and attempts at becoming a Pokemon master, was still unable to avoid the inevitable fate of death, and his efforts were eventually forgotten by the next generation. I was unable to escape from that text no matter what I pressed. I tried resetting the game, and the same thing happened at which I then finally decided to give up on that horrible nightmare. After that experience, I will never look at the same- never look the same at the gimmick of the unknown ever again. They say that only the first generation have folk tales and legends, but the second generation have so shown me how unpleasant the truth can be. I eventually enjoyed Soul Silver immensely, but I still can't unthink of what that game has told me. Okay? And that's it. Alright. Let me just kill this guy. That's it. I will never forget what happened to me one day. And then the Game Boy started oozing blood. There we go. Still can't unthink what happened. Yeah, the word you want there is forgot. Oh boy. trying to look down here. Now I'm just getting uh, video links to people that made the game, or made game recreations of this uh, story. I like, yeah, at the end he's just like, Soul, Sil Soul Silver was pretty good. I had a good time with it. I, I like how he just throws that in there. Like, he just wants to let us know. It's like, oh, don't worry, this didn't impact me. I, I still enjoyed the remakes. This was just like a lot of things happening that didn't really make sense. And then the unknown said I was dead, and then the unknown said blood, and then the unknown said any spooky word I can think of in six letters or less. It was just an ad for Soul Silver the whole time, maybe. Well, at least there wasn't a guard war in it. Hey, Raticate! Stay, keep this one away from Joey. Oh boy. Creepy pastas are so silly. I like the comments here. Remember, kids, if you're dead, then don't freaking say it out loud. <laughs> Alright. Oops. Oh, come on. Some of these comments are really old. I wonder I wonder what's like some of the oldest comments I can find. Hang on, let me talk to Mr. Fuji. And let me preemptively mute the music because it's gonna warp me back to Lavender Town. I'm sorry, but like some random guy just keeps claiming the Lavender Town music, so I have to mute it every time now. I love it. Alright, let me see what's in the comments said. B -b 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 -b. There we go. Okay, you don't hear the music, right? Oops. Accidentally lowered the thing. I need to get to Mr. Fuji. Fuji, I'm trying- I was trying to look at the comments on this. Some of them are recent, which is hilarious. There's still people going on the page after all these years. Alright. So now that we have that, we're gonna go the cycling road route. Retail. Alright. Let me just unmute the game. There's the Clefairy girl. She's dead. That's what she gets for using Clefairies. Now let's go this way. Got Charmander for Cut. Got Vaporeon for Surf. We're gonna need something for Fly. You can't read the tombstones, no. Um... 
can't go to Sabrina. Uh, I can go in Sylph right now, actually. Might as well do that. Because the, the prompt for beating that was just beating Koga. Is that later? No, it's not Koga. Okay, it's Mr. Fuji. Right. Alright, let's just get this over with. I'm high enough level for it. Teddy Ursa users would be spared. Don't I wouldn't curse a Teddy Ursa if this was in Gen 2. Come to think of it, are there any Gen 2 trainers that actually have Teddy Ursa? I just realized a sick speedrun tech I can do. I can just kill you and not have to walk on the tile. Wow! Murder saves time in a speedrun. Okay, let me open up the page here. Only one Pokemon? A lot of these comments just keep saying, I'm dead, I'm dead. They're making fun of it. Here we go. Oops, I thought I hit the button there. Okay. Trying to see. Uh, yes, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. All these are just unoriginal as hell. Not even fun comments. Okay. Charmander doing its its best to be a little friend. Okay, I found the card key. Now we just gotta go back. I can remember what floor it was. It's just a bit down. Yeah, this is the floor. I'm just gonna kill this guy now. Uh, there's a bunch of these around here, like, geez. There we go. What is this? Strangled Red? This seems to be a popular one. Sorry, I'm not clicking the button. I'm kind of stuck here. Pokemon Strangled Red, it's actually called. Let me see here. How old is this one, I wonder? How far back do the comments go? There's people writing... I used to love this as a kid, so... It's probably that old. Hypno's cry is so weird, distorted, ain't it? How far can I get the ghost? What level can we have for it? Is Strangled Red, uh, silly? I like this comment I'm scrolling down to right here. What the hell? Wait, does this guy still have the cartridge? Because I don't believe this, but if he still has it, he should make a video of the gameplay. And the reply is, this is the creepypasta wiki, you fool. <laughs> I like that right there. This is the creepypasta wiki, you fool. <laughs> is this real? D did someone actually die? <laughs> Uh, I like the how the first guy's just like, are we are we sure this isn't real? Like, I I don't know. Could you provide picks? I don't fully believe there was like a, a murder in your Pokemon game. Can you prove this? <laughs> All right, it seems like this one's really long and trying to be serious, so I don't know if I read this one. Strangled Red. Maybe I'll look into it later. I'm looking for something dumb and goofy right now. There we go. This was scary. Never been spooked more in my life. The worst part is it was at nighttime. There we go. Wait, 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 what? Uh, there's a comment here that says, I'm shaking, 10 out of 10, would read again, user was banned for this post. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't, hang on. I'm not paying attention to the game now, I'm just wasting time. Well, Red, I'm moving on up ahead. How strong they evolve, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon League. You fool. <laughs> no way to dismiss so anything someone says. This is the creepypasta wiki, you fool. I don't need the Lapras now since I uh, wasted time giving the Vaporeon. 
<laughs> I just like that there's a guy that's just like, was this real? I, I need to know, like, can you, do you still got this? It would be really cool if you could just like record some footage so we could see it. <laughs> there we go, scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. Love this as a kid. Oh my god, these comments are so old. So, so old. Alright, is there anything else here I can, like, read? It isn't, like, weird. Hang on. Just hit back here. Curse the Team Rocket member. Get this here. All right, all right, I'll take, I'll take a look, yo-yo. It's funny because apparently on this wiki, they actually deleted a lot of the garbage ones. Their words, not mine. Sorry, we're not accepting new Pokemon pastas anymore. They won't even let people post new ones here anymore. They just archived a bunch of the old good ones, I guess? Weird. This is the creepy pasta wiki, you fool. <laughs> so funny. They haven't let people post new ones for many years now. I wonder why. Probably because a bunch of kids would just keep trying to post weird ones. <laughs> I mean, l listen, I was around for the heyday of creepypastas. I was watching, like, all the YouTube videos, watching all, like, the, the fan game playthroughs. Not for, not for these ones. These ones are crap. I'm talking about the non-Pokemon ones. But, like, there's always... was always, like really good ones that would get popular and people would try and copy them like i remember when jeff the killer started getting like large um everybody and their grandma would try to make their own like uh super serial killer like mascot demon and they were so annoying and i didn't like any of them anyways Sylphco is done let me get the master ball this isn't a back in my day thing it's just this is cringe <laughs> The RPG Maker Creepypasta playthroughs. Yeah, some of them were good, but a lot of them were dumb. Really dumb. There we go. Sonic. The, the funniest part about Sonic.exe is that the creator got really full of himself when uh, it got popular. Oh, hey, there's Gravestone. Nice. Um. And, like, uh, what happened after that? Yeah, he got really full of himself because Sonic.exe got popular. And when the. Like, whatever wiki it was on, they moved Sonic.exe to, like, uh, the, the meme page or whatever. He got really pissy about it online. So, yes, the person who wrote Sonic.exe took it seriously. And was serious about it. I think you remember that, yeah. There we go. Too many Jeff clones. There were so many Jeff clones. I want a Jeff the Killer movie to happen like the Slender Man movie. Because that way, everyone will realize how not scary Jeff the Killer is, and we'll get a funny bad movie out of it, too. Okay. There we go. Vampy, your mod and sub badge just disappeared. Hang on. Play Poker Flute. The audio is still on right now, right? Hit that there. Snorlax woke up and attacked in a grumpy rage. Okay, there you go. Your badge is back. Had to make sure you didn't just unsub there. Raider made a rant where he called the creepypasta wiki mods uh, furry haters or something. Okay. That sounds like a situation. Creepypasta was so scary, mods quit. <laughs> he also called them not so great things. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's not a good- that's not a good thing. Also, obligatory, if you didn't know, if you just hold down left, you can walk past him and the game automatically puts you on a bike whether you have it or not. Figured I'd show that off. Okay. So I can still look at some of these. It's- yeah, they preserved some of these stories. They deleted the crappy ones, but I can still see some with, Mel with Meloetta and Gardevoir, and I'm not reading those. You cannot pay me to read those- on stream without, like, someone betting those. Because it's gonna be real cringe and awkward. You know it will be. 
There we go. Okay. And now we're at Fuchsia. Uh, I have to get Surf. I have to go through the Safari Zone. And I'm kicked out. Snow on Mount Silver. That one sounds familiar. Oh, I see it. There it is. Easter Egg. Snow on Mount Silver. Okay. Read the Meloetta Gardevoir ones. Do not recommend. Oh, you, did, you didn't have to... You didn't have to vet those ones. I think it was a pretty safe bet they wouldn't be worth it. I still haven't saved once. I should do that. Alright, here we go. Let's get through the Safari Zone. I'm not reading the story right now anyway, so I may as well focus on this. I played a fan game based on the Snow on Mount Silver. I vaguely remember that. I think I got copyright claimed on it. That's what I remember about it. <laughs> I don't even remember anything else that happened because they're all the same. You turn on the game, it spooks you, and then there was and then there was blood. I think it was the Squidward suicide one that first used the term hyperrealistic blood, and then it became a stupid meme because kids would just like copy and paste that exact phrase not knowing what the, the author was trying to say and it just became like a stupid like nothing statement that everyone makes fun of shaman one oh uh, that's a weird one right i don't think i want to read that you know maybe i should branch out a bit in the future if i do more of these i should get some ones that aren't just pokemon related like maybe find some classic dumb ones of other stories oops Execute is back. Looking at here. Digimon. I don't know if there's any, even any Digimon ones. I know there's, for some reason, a whole lot of My Little Pony ones. What am I saying, for some reason? I know why there is. Lots of Zelda creepypastas. Ben drowned. Jimmy lived. Oops. Well, I needed something for strength anyway. Well, I guess I'm not catching it. Oh, I should probably throw something at Doduo for fly. Come to think of it, I didn't get fly from the uh, top of Cycling Road. Oops. I wasn't thinking about that. Tails Doll. Tails Doll was a stupid one, wasn't it? Hang on. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should bring up Tails Doll. That one was actually kind of funny, stupid. MLP and Creepypasta's peak timing uh, uh, overlapped, for better or for worse. True enough. Can I use the protein on the ghost? I should save before I do that. I'm kind of scared now. Tails Doll is very silly. I got three rare candies... Oh, nice! A ghost attack rose! Sweet, let's go. It's gonna be cursing even better now. Alright, let me just... I'm not looking... I'm not scrolling any pages right now because I'm focused on my movement here. I'm trying to get through here without walking into a dead end and then wasting my steps. There we go. Oh, right, I need the gold teeth as well. Silly me. Totally forgot what that was for a second. There we go. TM32, just stuff I can sell. Not a big deal. Okay, now we got this. We just walk around until it kicks me out now. I'm checking other spooky stories, I guess. Is Surf, Pokemon will be able to ferry you across water. Used over and over. You're super lucky for winning this prize. I did not enjoy getting uh, Surf and Gold Teeth and Blue Kaizo. That was uh, something spooky. You had to have the exact step count, and I hated it. Okay, walk around for a little bit here. Let's go to Fuchsia's Gym next so I can mash in that battle while I look up another story. Mm -hmm. How much time do I got left? I should see if I can catch a Doduo. That'll even happen. There's no grass over here. There's no grass over here. Come on, Doduo. 
can also just eat the Master Ball at the first blind type I see. Come on. Come on. There's Execute. Another one we don't need. Yeah, I can just use the Master Ball on uh, any flying type I see. That'll be my flyer. Still, something for strength would be nice. Can Vaporeon learn strength? Can someone Google the Serebii page right, right now? I'm kind of curious about that. Also, see if Charmander can learn it. That would also save time. stone on me, do I? Can this learn it? Nidorino might be able to learn strength. Take that for now. Fourteen steps. Alright, kick me out. Kick me out. Ding dong. Okay, now let's go down and get, get where we need to go. I, f I don't think I can physically lose a battle with Ghost, right? Yeah, I, I can't remove it from the party, so it's physically impossible to faint, right? I think. Charmander can learn strength through HM. Okay, thank you. That means I can grab the extra rare candy right quick. Let me do that. Which one was your house again? Okay, this one. Red gave the gold teeth to the warden. Warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one can understand a word I was saying. You're lucky you don't get to die. Alright. Oops, wrong thing. Let's find out who can strength now. Yep, only Charmander. Weird. Should probably put uh, Surf on Vaporeon now. Wait, what am I? I don't need the rare candies anymore. <sighs> I've kind of forgot about that. I'm not. I'm not picking up Zapdos because I can hit Gengar with a uh, curse now. Good for Charmander. He's helping us co uh, commit murder. Are you happy about that, Yo-Yo? Everyone's dying because this little friend's helping. He's clearing the way. It's pretty messed up. Maybe this ghost is actually a Cleffa. We ever think about that? Its data can't be read by the game because uh, Cleffa's Gen 2. Moida! Alright, let's get through this. First trainer here. Poor little Charmander. Charizard isn't a flying type in Gen 1. Who told you that? <laughs> that is not true whatsoever. All right, there goes Drowsy. There we go. Hit the button there. I open up the page and I click out of the game for it. Ghost level 40. I could just give the candy to the ghost to make sure he's extra strong. dead. Kadabra. Let me see here. Can I pull up Tails Doll Creepypasta as a bit of a palate cleanser here? This is an awkward setup. I wasn't expecting to be typing here. Tails Doll Creepypasta. Alright, there isn't music on this page, right? Let me see here. Oh, this is a wiki. This is a wiki page for the character in the creepypasta. No, I don't want this. I don't want fan art. I just want to read the stupid story. <laughs> I'm not... Okay, it's, they're not going to make it easy, are they? Take out you. They got to make it... They got to make it annoying, don't they? Thank you, internet. Creepypasta story. Let me try putting that in. It's just a fan-made wiki for the Murderous Tales doll. 
Nope, I'm still getting I'm still getting pages for the character. Let me see here. Does this page have it? No. I can't find it. Well, I can't find the actual story. I just keep finding, like, wikis where people are like, this is the Tails doll. He, like, commits murder. This is a list of his victims, according to the lore. Okay, I guess I can't find it without a little bit of searching. I'm trying to awkwardly click things and search between input game inputs here. Very well, I shall show you True Terror as a Ninja Master. Creepypasta original. Yeah, let me try that. Okay. Click back in here. Sorry, I'm kind of awkwardly doing this. Original. Okay. I'm still not seeing it. I'm getting the meme pages. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not showing up. Get that there. Let me see here. Okay, I think I may have found something. This post is from 2013, so this is probably it. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, I found it. I, okay, this is actually it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of clunkily looking for this while I just murder people in Pokemon. Okay. Just do a quick scan. Yeah, I think this is the original thing. Just making sure I'm not, like, reading a, a fanfic of a fanfic here. Gil and his friend Noah were going to, uh, were looking for games for their Sega Saturn at EB Games when they came across Sonic R. Gil was going to ask how much it was, but when he got to the counter, the salesperson said for them to take the game for free and get out. When Noah heard the salesperson say, take the game with you, he dropped the games he was looking at and ran over to Gil. Did he say we could have the game for free? Why are you so excited? It's Sonic R. Who the hell gets this excited at getting Sonic R for free? Here we go. Anyways, where am I supposed to head next? I got Surf now, so I guess, uh, I gotta fly back, don't I? Crap. Alright, hang on, let's go Master Ball a bird in the side here. And then go back up to get Fly. I should have grabbed it before I went down Cycling Road, but it's whatever. Free is free. Alright, let me just get into an encounter here. 2013 Sonic fan base would, yeah. Okay, here's a Pharaoh. Eat that Master Ball at it. Did he say we could have the game for free, he asked? Gil was going to shake his head no when the salesperson said yes. Noah grabbed Gil by his arm in the game and pulled them out of the store to his house. He just tugged them all the way back there. When they got to Noah's house, Noah got his Sega Saturn and Sonic R and put the game in. When the game started, they didn't see Sonic or Knuckles, they only saw what looks like Tails. Noah thought it was just a glitch or something. Someone hacked it. But Gil knew it was more than a glitch or a hacked game. Much more. Evil. The first thing they notice. Not noticed. Notice. When Noah started the first race, the first, uh, the track was full of dark, red and black, and the music that was playing was Can You Feel the Sunshine, but played backwards. Uh, Noah thought that this was a hack, but Gil thought the game was haunted. He didn't think their copy was the only haunted version of the game. He thought all copies were haunted by Tails. Okay. When Noah beat the first race, he unlocked Supersonic. Gil knew that Noah didn't get all seven Chaos Emeralds, but Noah didn't question how he got them. But he did stand up and cheered for himself. How did you unlock him so quickly? asked Gil. I don't know, Noah screamed. Something feels weird about this game, Gil said. The game feels haunted or something. You've been watching too many horror movies, Noah said. I'm sorry, all of this is one paragraph, so I'm. it's very awkward to read. 
we just get back in here. Gotta go over to the fly person. Excuse me, wait up, please. You see here, Noah said, you know I don't watch that stuff, Noah. Wait, what? Noah said, you don't know I watch, you, Noah said, you don't know I don't watch that stuff, Noah. Okay, who's he, is he talking to himself? This is why you, you don't do it all as one paragraph, kids. Gil said, Noah finished his second race with Supersonic when the game said a challenger was approaching. When the challenger approaching screen faded away, oops. The screen faded into black and stayed black for about two minutes. It then cut to a picture of Sonic being violently attacked by what looked like a stuffed animal version of Tails with a very loud scream and laughter for a split second. Then it went to the race. All one sentence. All one sentence that was. When the race started, Supersonic was standing on the track by himself. After the ready, set, go was said, Supersonic started to move by himself. Gil looked over to Noah and saw that his hands weren't on the controller. As soon as Supersonic crossed the finish line... Hang on, I need to teach it fly. There we go. Alright, we gotta go back to Pallet Town now. It's time for Cinnabar. Come to think of it, I need to buy repels. I should do that at Cinnabar's, uh... Shop. The scariest part of these stories is the grammar. Yeah, you're telling me. Oops. Pallet Town. I also need to go beat Sabrina at some point, too, but it doesn't matter which order I do them. Okay. Okay, I got everything. Now I just gotta hold down for a little bit. Okay. See, ready, set, go. Okay, Noah wasn't holding the controller. As soon as Supersonic crossed the finish line, Noah was able to control him. And what looked like Tails was right behind him. When Supersonic and Tails crossed the finish line, it looked like the Tails won, but it said Supersonic won. That's when it said they unlocked the Tails doll and the Tails doll curse. When this happened, Noah and Gil both looked very confused. Is that a letter? Noah asked Gil, and Gil... Noah asked Gil, and all Gil could do was nod his head. Noah went to play as the Tails doll when the letter opened up. Whatever you do, don't read the letter, Gil warned Noah. But Noah didn't listen and read it anyway. What it read was, Can you feel the sunshine lyrics backwards? <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of the song playing backwards, it's just a letter with the lyrics written backwards. That just sounds annoying to set up. Okay. Okay, the lyrics backwards, uh, when Noah was done, the TV started to vibrate. Noah took a hammer and stated- and started- wait, Noah took a hammer and stated to hit the TV. I think they meant to write started to hit the TV with the hammer. With it, the TV stopped vibrating. I stopped the TV from vibrating, said <laughs> Noah. That again. The TV stopped vibrating. I stopped the TV from vibrating, said Noah. <laughs> at this point, I'm just laughing at the grammar now. <laughs> I think Noah stopped the TV from vibrating. Uh, yes, but how do we play the game, Gil said. I have a TV in my room, Noah said as he unplugged the system from the now broken TV and wall. You do know that your mom and dad are going to kill you for breaking the TV, Gil said. I know, Noah said, but it was worth it. Okay. They then went upstairs, up, upstairs. Okay, instead of writing the word upstairs, they wrote the word up and the word stairs as in when you're looking at someone, as in when you're staring at somebody. That's not the right kind of stairs, author. That's uh, not what you write at all. Hang on, let me buy the repels. We gotta go through the mansion. I'm gonna need, need some of these bad boys for the rest of the game. Upstairs. This is more than enough, we're good. Actually, I should buy a escape rope so I can get out of here. I always forget to do that in my other runs. Okay. Uh, don't need to revive the fossil. I already have a flyer now. Okay. Let's use repels because this place is awful for the encounter flash. 
Um, hang on, I actually have to focus for a second because I don't fully remember the way. Chat, quick question. When you drop down the hole, is it left or right? I, I cannot remember to save my life, ever. Okay, I don't need to hit that. I think I just go up. It's left? Left? Okay. Alright. And I think I just keep going here. Okay, I gotta hit that switch now. I, I, I always get confused because fire red and leaf green switch it. It's really random and it throws me off every time. Alright, and we're on the bottom floor now. Excellent. Look how fast the mansion is when you actually know what to do. Well, rather, when you ask chat what to do. PM14. I'm gonna have to kill you. took a sweet time. That checkered tile is not easy on the eyes. Oh, I'm gonna have to menu a bit for, uh, the mansion, huh? Okay, don't need this. Oh, yes, I do, actually. I just forget. Hell's effect wore off. Hang on, I want to continue the Tails doll cringe in just a second. Don't even need to fight any trainers in here, don't I? Secret key is just up ahead. Don't ask me why this is here or why you need it to go inside the gym. It's really nonsensical. Oh, went back here. Well then, it works for me. Let's go to Saffron first because I want to do the quiz stuff. I want to read the story while we're just mashing through things. Let me see here. They then went upstairs to Noah's bedroom. When they got to Noah's bedroom, the broken TV started to vibrate again, and then the Tails doll came out. Noah and Gil were now playing on a different game because of what happened. Oh, so they're not aware that the Tails doll is chasing them up the stairs. This is written very strangely. Okay. Let me see here. They were now playing a different game because of what happened. They were playing Sonic Adventure 2 on the Sega Dreamcast. There we are. Hang on, let me just get this right quick. And there we go. Perfect. When the doorbell rang, Noah and Gil went to answer the door. When they opened it, no one was there. Noah closed the door when the doorbell rang again. Noah opened the door and no one was there. He closed the door but kept his hands on the doorknob. The doorbell rang again and Noah opened the door as fast as he could, but no one was there. The only thing that was there was a Tails doll. Noah brought it inside the house and washed what looked like blood off of it in the kitchen sink. Yeah, that's... When I find a stuffed animal covered in blood at my doorstep, the first thing I do is, like, go to wash it. When he washed the blood off, he sat it up in front of a couple dishes to dry and went upstairs. Yeah, you just, just leave it there. What's the big deal? No, no big deal. That's when the Tails doll stood up and flew off the counter and onto the floor. He then walked up the stairs, and he flew up them, then he went to Noah's bedroom. Did he walk up the stairs or flew up the stairs? Which is it, sentence? Gil then felt like they were being watched by something evil. Hey Noah, do you feel like we're being watched? Gil asked Noah. Are you sure you don't watch horror movies? Noah asked Gil. Of, of course we are, I'm sure, Gil said. Coarse, that's, that's what they wrote, not course. Gil said, I have to go to the bathroom. Gil said, as he- wait, what? Gil said, I have to go to the bathroom, Gil said. Okay. Gil definitely said he had to go to the bathroom. As he was walking to the bathroom, he saw something out of the corner of his eye. It looked like a Tails doll, so he turned towards his left and didn't see anything. He looked to his right and didn't see anything. He thought it was his imagination and went to the bathroom. Hang on, let me just get this. I probably already took a wrong turn here. And Sabrina's dead. I forgot to do it backwards. There we go. Alright, now it's time to go beat up Blaine. We're moving on. 
Honestly, I might just fight the trainer so I can read the story, because I don't want to do the stupid quiz. I don't want to sit there menuing. How much of the story is left? Let me see here. Okay, we're near- we're in the last few paragraphs, but, uh, with- what these- what this writer qualifies as a paragraph is very disturbing, though, so... Let me see here. He walked to the stairs, and then he flew up them. Okay, let me see here. He was going- he thought it was his imagination and went to the bathroom. When he was going back to the bedroom, he saw something move, so he went to see what it was. He then saw it move again and walked towards it. Gil saw the Tails doll and walked over to pick it up and bring it to the room. When he brought it up and showed Noah, Noah asked Gil, Where did you find it? I found it by the stairs, Gil said. I thought I left it in the kitchen. Anyway, let's play Sonic R again, Noah said. Don't you remember what happened before, Gil said? Yeah, so, Noah said. So do you want to kill your TV too, Gil said. That was a freak accident, Noah said as he put the game in the Saga Saturn. He then played the tag game as the Tails doll. And as soon as he tagged the last person, the Tails doll that was in the room came to life. Noah and Gil both stood up and walked towards the door. Noah opened it, and they both ran as fast as they could down the stairs. Don't need to fight you. And almost got to the front door when the Tails doll fell in front of them and killed Noah with his razor-sharp claws. This made Gil very angry, and he grabbed a baseball bat and started to swing at the Tails doll, each hit missing. He swung it one last time before the Tails doll caught it and broke it. Gil then stepped on its head. Alright, Noah's just dead now, that's, that's it. And ran to the kitchen to get one of the kitchen kni knives and swung at the doll again. The Tails doll caught it again and killed Gil. The Tails doll went back into the upstairs TV. The police then came to the house because the neighbors called saying they heard a lot of noise coming from Noah's house. But when they got there, Noah and Gil were both upstairs in Noah's bedroom. One of the police officers took the Saga Saturn to the station, and his partner said there was no murder weapon. So, <laughs> the cops just said, all right, free Saga Saturn for me. That's it? It, it just ends like that. that that's the end. That, like, they got so lazy at the end. They're just like, and then Noah and Gil died. That's just it. That's just it. That's actually how it ends. The cops just like, we found no murder weapon, but hey, they don't need this anymore. And then everybody died. The end. <laughs> this is the creepypasta wiki, you fool. Okay, that was, so. It, like, it just ends like that. Like, the last couple paragraphs, like, the kid was just probably... Whoever was writing this probably was being called for dinner, and they're like, Oh crap, I gotta finish this up. I gotta finish this up right quick. Uh, they're gonna die, right? Okay, they died. Okay, I don't need to talk- Oh, I do need to talk to you. So he was stabbed, but they didn't do an autopsy. Yes, that's what's wrong with the story. <laughs> the police didn't do an autopsy. Close the door, Mom. I'm trying to read this creepypasta. Come on. Anyways, I've murdered everyone yet again. The murder is just background footage now. And we got you. What do we have here? I've been to too many gyms, but this one's my favorite. I read a Sonic story. I am not going to read a random Sonic story. I, if there's ever a series that needs vetting, it's going to be Sonic Creepypastas. Because you know the kind of crap I'm going to open up if I try and do that blind. Let me go back to Pokemon, why don't I? What do we have here? What do we have here? I'm pressing the button. Hit the button, please. That's a Growlithe. A spooky Growlithe right there. Yowza, too hot. And you're dead. Who else is left? I don't want to vet Sonic stories. Don't worry, you won't have to. You won't have to, I promise. <laughs> Sorry, but it's so silly. Why is the story just written like this? I have many questions, and all of them are going to lead to unsatisfying answers. I think the biggest one is, how did this story actually like get a following because like people really hype this one up as one of the, the the big ones right 
Like, Tails doll spooky. It's got fan art. Like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever read. I'm sorry. There we go. Noah died, and bam, that's it. People were just stupider ten years ago? Maybe so. Okay, I gotta go to the washroom, so I'm just gonna run in there right quick. Alright. I'm back. Let's go ahead and continue. So... I took a quick glance at the thing. I could just read another one of the highly rated ones. That's probably one of the better ways to weed out the silliest. I'm just a talking, walking contradiction when I say things like that, aren't I? Anyways, this Ralph is dead. And here's one that looks to be about a Wigglytuff. It's called Disabled. I'm pretty sure that's referring to, like, the move, of course. It's one of the highest... Uh, trending pages on this wiki, so it looks to be another one that's like from 10 years ago. I've never heard of this one. All right, let me try this. If it's anything, if it's anything stupid, I'll just I'll just find something else. But read that, it's eh. There we go. Is it bad? Hang on. What's a decent one I could check then, Yo Yo? Let me see here. Okay, right, it has to load this room where randomly. Because I'm trying to find something decent, if there's anything. No, just dumb? Well, that's what I want to read. I want to read the dumb ones. If it's just dumb, then I'll read... Then it's perfect. Anyways, I need to go to Viridian now. Do that. This is the most awkward speedrun you'll ever see in your life. They're all dumb. Anyways, curse never runs out of PP, so I'm always gonna be fine. It's perfect right there. All right, well, I already hyped it up. Let me re let me give a read. We'll ju we'll judge. Chat uh, chat can rate it uh, out of teddies or something. Hang on, I can easily get through this, right? Yeah, I just have to fight two trainers. When it comes to Pokemon, my favorites have to be Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. All right, oh, that's scary right there. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of having a puppy Jigglypuff. I'd even use to have a bunch of Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff plushies. They would surround my pillow each night, cuddle with them to make sure they got love. Anytime my Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff used sing, I would hum the little tune with them, thinking it made my chances better for the opposing Pokemon to fall asleep. Let's see here. I was very naive back then, but it was blissful ignorance, to be honest. Innocence, to be honest. Hell, I even played Jigglypuff in the Brawl games. The Brawl games, not Smash Brothers. So when I got my hands on Pokemon Soul Silver, oh, it's always Soul Silver. When it first came out, I of course made it my mini mission to find a Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. I went through the game, waiting for the puffs and tuffs to show up. I encountered the occasional trainer with a puff or tuff, but I soon found out the Jigglypuffs can only be caught in one set area, which I later found out to be the game's Safari Zone. The Wigglytuffs could not be found in the wild for me. At that point, Safari Zone was not active for me, so I was stuck waiting a little longer to capture my beloved Puff. After a week or so of battling in schoolwork, Safari Zone was finally available. I went there once I had the chance to go, and went on the hunt for Jigglypuff. And of course, it was not easy. I ran into maybe eight the first trip, and lost all eight of them. I remember calling my DS Lite a cheater. Next day, though, I finally caught my first Jigglypuff. I happily named her June. Oh, okay, June. <laughs> like Dylan's Toho girl. And put her in my party ASAP. It took some time to get her to level up the uh, rest of my team, but it was well worth it. I even kept her sing, since it felt so nostalgic to hear that lovely tune again. Sadly, school got busy for me. So I was forced to put my game on hold. But once I got my free time back, I went right back to work, making sure all my beloved Pokemon were with me. Especially June. But I still didn't have my Wigglytuff. I didn't want to lose June, so I thought about getting an already evolved Wigglytuff, since Safari Zone has proven its dislike of me. That reads strangely. So I set a call out to the wireless trade asking for a Wigglytuff. Any gender in any le level. I wasn't picky at the time, but now I wish I had been picky. In exchange for a new Wigglytuff, I put out a wonderfully bred Totodile that had some killer moves, even for a level 6. I think they mean using the Global Trade Station, rip. 
I waited for hours, thinking someone would see the quality right away and send a trade. I waited days. Maybe someone would just happen to want a totodile to raise. Nearly two weeks had passed, and I still had no response. I had already given up hope and was ready to use a moonstone on Jun. I ended up checking one last time to make sure, and I wanted to get my totodile back somehow. If no one was going to take him, but it didn't send me to the main menu for wireless, wireless trading. Instead, I got the dramatic evolving music and a Pokeball came flying down from the top screen to the bottom. Finally, I got my Wigglytuff. Just catch a new one. They're, wa they're waiting around weeks for this. Like, wh what is the... <laughs> they got some weird priorities for how to get what they want here, clearly. I quickly logged out to see my new friend. Female Wigglytuff, level 26. The name was a bit odd, though. Disabled in all caps. I didn't get why someone would name a Wigglytuff that, but I had seen Stranger Things for Pokemon. I just wished I could have changed it, but for some reason you could never change the name of traded Pokemon. Its information was a bit odd, but I was never one of those... one for those kinds of details and learning the meanings behind those details. And I can kill Giovanni now, right? Yes, I can. I skip his dialogue at the end, too. There we go. So, this time, someone on GTS sent you a haunted Pokemon. That's an interesting twist. Is this what the kids are believing these days? Anyways, next we just gotta go through Victory Road. Um, I got all my HMs. Yeah, I should be good. I got Mount some Max Repels. We're all good. Let me see here. Just gotta get into the rival fight. You see here. Gloomy nature. That's not a nature. But, the, the, yeah, I'm questioning this as the, um... <laughs> as the weird thing. I wonder if the if the author actually knew that or not and just assumed. And only knew move, one move. Sing. I don't ever recall seeing Gloomy before. I had seen Timid, so I figured they could be shy. It could be sad, too. Though you wouldn't have to wonder what Pokemon would be Gloomy. And the fact that it only knew Sing did bug me. Would have been nice if the previous trainer left some moves, but I had some nice TMs to try on it anyway. Despite the off information, I was eager to try out the Wigglytuff in battle. I checked my character's bag and I picked the best TM I was almost sure would work. I ended up picking Hidden Power, Swagger, and Explosion. You taught your Wigglytuff Explosion in Gen 4. Does that even work? I'm sorry, I'm questioning these things now. I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, I got it out of my system, sorry. I headed over to the nearest patch of grass and walked around aimlessly looking for a fight. The battle music came on and the Pokemon was a Ponyta. I picked fight and used Sing, just to make Wigglytuff's first fight easy. It failed. Well, I knew Sing didn't always work, so I didn't think anything of it. Ponyta used Tail Whip. It was cute, but only lowered my defense. My turn again, so I used Hidden Power, just to see if I was in the right place for it. I wasn't, since I barely made a nick in the Ponyta's HP. I used Tail Whip again. I figured that the game was using the same trick to lower the level Pokemon, the lower level Pokemon used. This time I used Sing again. The screen acted like it had used Sing, but there was no sound. Sing was disabled. I just stared at my screen. How was Sing unusable? Was it a stupid trick? I let Ponyta use Tail Whip again, but then Wigglytuff shook a bit like it was suffering from an effect. I thought I saw a sprite change, but then I realized that I probably got a glitchy Pokemon. I cussed a bit, pissed that I lost a good Pokemon for a hacked one. I didn't want this one messing with my game, so I picked Run. Disabled wants to fight. You can't leave the battle. Oh, come on, I said out loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. I kept thinking that it was probably about to ruin my game. I thought Ponyta was about to attack this turn, but it didn't. Its little sprite looked like it was poisoned. Ponyta was frozen in fear. It might not attack. I knew this was getting too weird. I tried to pick Run again, but whatever. Another weird text came up. Disabled wants to fight. You cannot leave the battle. I didn't even see the text was different this time. I was able to- wait, if you, if you didn't see the text was different this time, how are you recounting this? The story is written in first person. Alright then. 
Uh, I was able to pick another option. I couldn't run, so I fought. I tried Hidden Power again. Hidden Power was disabled. I had to pick another one. I tried Swagger. Swagger was disabled. What was doing this to its moves? All these questions popped up in my head. One after another. What did that guy who gave me this Wigglytuff do? I have to escape. I can't keep this Pokemon. I knew I could just turn the game off, but I wanted to see what was happening. I wanted to see what was wrong with my Wigglytuff. I was stuck with two options. Sing and Explosion. Sing was already disabled from past attempts, so I could only use Explosion. That move would take out the Wigglytuff and the Ponyta too, ending the battle. I thought that maybe was a good thing. Explosion was disabled, said the game. I didn't even have a chance to react before more text came up. Disabled, try using Sing. Sing was disabled. It was doing it on its own. The sprite started shaking a bit more than before, more obviously. Ponyta is frozen in fear, can no longer escape from battle. I felt my heart start to pound. Maybe this was what Ponyta was feeling at the time. Disabled tried using Sing. Sing was disabled. Disabled tried using Sing. It was disabled. Disabled tried using Sing. Okay, it's just a paragraph of them writing the same thing over and over for a uh, dramatic effect, I guess. So I'm just going to skip to the end. Each time the text passed, Wigglytuff sprites, uh, sprite turned dark and darker. Disabled used Struggle. I watched in horror as the Wigglytuff used Struggle. Like, it had no other moves to use. Most of the time, it didn't even hit Ponyta. Just Wigglytuff, like it was hurting itself. The Ponyta fled from battle and the sequence ended. I wish I could have gone with it. Since Wigglytuff was first in my party, I was walking along with it on the screen. Its colors looked dirty and red. Uh, could be seen on it. Oh, sorry, trying to get in here. I turned my character to talk to it. Hang on, use Repel. There it is. Okay, activate strength. We gotta get through this now. Come on, little Charmander. You're level 5 this whole time, but you're doing your best. Charmander's a little friend. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. It didn't say anything to me. I tried again, becoming strangely desperate to figure out what was happening to the Wigglytuff. I was so joyed to finally have. I just wanted to sing. I wasn't sure who was talking. Maybe it was a voiceover, I thought. I talked to it again. Why can't I sing? Yeah, voice acting in a Pokemon game. That's how you know this one's not real. <laughs> Welcome, friends. I'm just reading a crappy creepy pasta. Why? Why can't I sing? Just sing. Sing. Each time I spoke to it, its cry grew softer and softer, like it was a toy breaking. I feel- I began to feel bad for Wigglytuff and headed back to the city to heal it. It was the least I could do before turning my game off, taking it back to the time when I just barely got it before I used it. Okay, you're just gonna reset the game? Sadly, we didn't get far. We need to pick up those items. There's a trainer up ahead over here. Just dodge him. Chatot could voice act. Yeah, with a voice recording. A different thing, I suppose. Can you even record Shatot's thing in, uh, Harkold Soul Silver? You can, right? Oops. Come on, wrong thing. The story seems to go just like all the others. I love this Pokemon. I can't wait to get this Pokemon. Oh, wait, it's haunted. Oh, no. Someone's dying. Oh, God. The curse. The horror. The game stop. I bought it for $9. And this is what I got. Okay. We just keep going down. Sadly, we didn't get far. We encountered another Pokemon battle, another Ponyta. I picked Run, but just like last time, Disabled wants to fight. You cannot escape the battle. No one had time to react to what happened during this fight. Ponyta was too slow for some reason and was stuck in battle. The options menu did not come up for me. Disabled tried to use Sing. Sing, Sing, Sing. There was so much text, it moved off the text box itself. It was finally glitching out, I thought. Disabled used struggled. It struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled. With each struggle, Wigglytuff took more and more damage, though this time the Wild Ponyta got hit more this time. The Wild Ponyta fled. I thought the fight was over, but the battle screen stayed up. 
I began mashing buttons. Hey, there's a uh, Moltres. Okay. Need to get around here. I need to scroll the page down. They fill up the screen with repeating the same words over and over for dramatic effect. It's kind of annoying. And... Do I go here first? Yeah, okay, I do. I believe I need to move this all the way over there. Hang on. I think it struggled. Alright. Repel's effect wore off. Let's reset that. Gosh, I'm doing such a long stream today. I'm probably gonna have to go shorter tomorrow now. I didn't expect today to be so long. Anyways, where am I at? I thought the fight was over, but the battle screen stayed up. I need to press A or B. The screen faded and changed to the evolving screen. I couldn't speak. My heart sank, and I felt my eyes water. The once normal Wigglytuff sprite was faded. Its left ear was torn off. And red pixel covered the broken end. Its tired eyes were pitch black, with only a red dot to show its pupils. Even its mouth had red coming from it, like blood was dripping out. Why can't I sing? Why? Why? Can you sing? Yes, no. I picked no, I just wanted this to end. You're lying. You can sing. Give me your sing. Yes or no? I hit no about four or five times. Okay. <laughs> Sing, 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 glitch text. I think you broke it, she told me, leaving my room and- wait, what? What was happening here? Oh, sorry, I missed a paragraph, I think. The speakers let out a high-pitched screech, making me drop my DS and to get it away. I ran out of my room and called a friend. I couldn't touch the game after that. My friend came over, seeing as I could not hide the panic I was feeling. She laughed at me, but I told her I wasn't touching the game. There we go, there's that. She picked it up for me and looked at it, shaking her head as she turned it off and closed it. She had handed it back to me. I think you broke it, she told me, leaving my room and heading for the living room. She stayed with me the rest of the day and night. I couldn't get that image out of my head. The next morning, with my friend sitting next to me, I put the Wigglytuff up for trade. I found someone that was offering a Cyndaquil in exchange for a Wigglytuff. I hit the button as hard as I could, wanting to hurry it up. The trade went through. I still have that Cyndaquil. Whoever, na whoever had him named him Hurry. <laughs> That's the last line? Really? It's the I traded it for the Cyndaquil from Lost Silver? That's it? <laughs> but the Hurry was on Pokemon Crystal. Not so silver. <laughs> this is just like a Who Was Phone top 10 anime crossovers moment. And that that's literally it. It, it just ends like that. Repels effect wore off. Alright, it's time for the Elite Four. We're almost done the game. Oh, oh, jolly good story. I thought you made that part up. No, that's what it says. That's so silly. Why is it like that? Well, I don't need to heal. Anyways, time for the murderous finale. The PMD Wigglytuff origin story. I don't think there's really enough time to start a new story. Is that just the last one we're gonna go with? I could look at the comments while I beat the Elite Four. Let me see here. Bro, why the hell did it end with a Lost Silver reference? There we go. Uh-oh, funny, scary Pokemon Silver bootleg reference. Let me see... Ba -ba 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 -ba. And some of these are really dumb. Let me see here... I don't know why the Cyndaquil was called that, it's so silly. Like it's the wrong... wrong thing. People, like, a bunch of kids in the comments that are just like, Wow, Lost Silver reference! What, what's that for? <laughs> you see here... Can't find any good comments. They're all just silly and dumb. 
There's nothing. Nothing good. Anyways, let me kill Lorelei. Finally. Peace at last. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through training, I lose. Well, that one was about a bloody, eyeless, wiggly tough, and that's just about it, huh? There we go. How do I keep getting more viewers here every time I read one of these stupid things? I'm just mashing A button while there's ghost murders. That's the backdrop there. Well, I think that's about our, uh, does it for our impromptu collection of stories for the day. I still can't get over the Tails doll one, because that one spawned a following. Like, actually. Like, there are Tails doll murder fans out there, and that's the story they love. I love the single paragraph where the author just decides they both have to die because their mom was calling them for dinner. There we go. Lorelai is dressed forever. Lorelai is dead. We don't have to worry about her anymore. Bruno's got one Pokemon left. Look at this hero go. A. Goodbye, Bruno. You won't be coming back for the sequel. Just a bit more. I'm Agatha of the Elite Four. Luckily, I didn't have to do my uh, extra plan there. I literally can just curse everything. I'm sorry, but I, I think the best one I read by far was the first one. Like, the first one um, with Joey, like, having his Frankenstein, like, uh, eradicate. Gengar too scared to move. He will be scared. Excellent. And then he just sewed parts of the dead Raticate on him to become the top percentage. There we go. That was so silly. Why, why was it like that? I don't know why it was like that. If I read more of these, I have to, I'm have i gonna have to have a lot more of them vetted, because I've just been haphazardly reading whatever the hell it pops up. And carefully trying to filter things while mashing A button to play the game. There we go. Again, there are too many that have, like, that seem to be related to Gardevoir and Meloetta, and I'm not going to read that because that's going to be the wrong kind of cringe. I don't think I want to read that kind of cringe. Anyways, you're old enough. Goodbye. There we go. If I read the dumb ones viewers sent in that they make themselves, you know what's going to happen? People are going to make intentionally dumb ones that aren't even funny. Okay, let's get rid of Lance. Oh, I heard about you, Red. Oh, you're about to die. I'm going to have to mute the champ music as well. That's just the rule. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I went through some of the ones, Yo-Yo. Some of those ones are too short, and they're not even, like, there's not much to even say about them. There's a Gyarados. And there it goes. Ghost is too strong. And then I got roughed up by a Teddy plush. Hey, I'm not writing about a murderous Teddy Ursa plush. Or Moomin plush. There we go. I'm sorry, but the one about Joey, where the where the author like actually like cries and they write about their tears splashing on the DS. <laughs> that visual is too funny for me. I can't handle it. Also, what about that what about that Jigglypuff in the disabled story? Like the author really wanted a Wigglytuff so badly that they couldn't be arsed to get their own moonstone. So they just catch a Jigglypuff, they name it June, and then they're just like, okay, never never do anything with this again. All right, last curse. Coming up in a second. All right, are you ready, chat? It's gonna be muted for a little bit now. I'm pretty sure after this, we'll play the Lavender Town music. So, you might be wondering, why would you do a full playthrough of this hack when it's just a ghost murder and everything? Isn't it repetitive? That's why I read the stories, first of all. And uh, the next part of the story, the actual creepy bit, happens after I beat the champion. It only took me two and a half hours to get to that part, but who's counting? There we go. But it doesn't matter, chat. It doesn't matter what I do, because I get to put Pokemon spooky, scary version in the title with the ghost in the thumbnail, and I'm going to get them clicks. So as far as I'm concerned, 
I won. Doesn't matter if this game is good or bad. I laughed at the Tails doll thing. All right, level 55. Look at that ghost go. Spooky scary. <laughs> Joey in the thumbnail. Oh, maybe I should just try and Photoshop eradicate parts on Joey's face. That would be something. Yeah, I went really long today because the first two horror games were supposed to be like an hour long, and they were each like two and a half hours long. So uh, I started this quite late. I'm probably just going to make this my long stream day, and tomorrow will be shorter stream day instead. I'll just do the egg lock or something. All right, and I've killed the last Pokemon. All right, chat, you ready? You ready for mute? No, this can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. Goodbye, Blue. That was the worst time to get a Windows notification. Seriously? <laughs> as soon as the game goes silent. Let me make a uh, save so we can experiment here. So what happens if I go backwards? Well, let me go back here, right? And check these. Wow, I can actually walk around in here. Hey! Hall of Fame. The real spookies who put in all those tombstones there. Hey, little Charmander. He did his best. He he is an accessory to murder, I'm sorry to say. This is... All of these people are... This is a wanted list as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that Vaporeon. Nidorino there was kind of just along for the ride. I didn't actually need him. This Charmander learned strength. Pokemon's most wanted. You helped me fly away. You were the getaway vehicle. That's about to go through the credits, right? Pokedex rating. You still have lots to do. Many years later. He's about to play Lavender Town. Yeah, it's playing Lavender Town, so I gotta mute it. I've got nothing on me. And now I'm an old man. So now that after all those spooky stories, we're gonna end on this spooky story. Can't check Pokemon, the menu doesn't work for it. I know where to go. The entire overworld is empty now. Snorlax should be gone. Look at that old man, like, animation. Lavender Town plays everywhere until you get to where you need to go. Which means, uh, a copyright fun. I'm just an old man now. It always bugged me about the old man sprite. There, a sprite. From the front, it looks like I have hair. From the side, it looks like I'm bald. Does that bother anyone else? That always bothered me. Looks like his legs are broken. Looks like he's doing a little dance. Look at him go. 
I'm just an old man. Just an old man going for a stroll. Looks like I have hair from the front. I wonder if items are there. Like, can I pick up any of the hidden items? Are they just gone now, too? The entire overworld is empty. It doesn't matter where you go. Do any wild Pokemon even show up anymore? Nope. They thought of everything. I can't get any hidden items. Alright, so... In the story, it says that the, the author tried to explore every part of Kanto until they realized that if you go through Diglett's cave, one of the cut trees is missing, so you can get back to Pallet Town. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Just imagine Lavender Town is playing. Use your imagination, because that's all YouTube allows me to do now. You can open up Lavender Town Music in another tab. Just use your imagination. No encounters, apparently. Going for a walk. I know where I need to go. I need to make it back to my house on the exact tile you start the game on. Everyone's dead, John. Everyone is dead. No one is left. Yeah, see, that tree's gone. Now I'm just going to walk back through Viridian Forest. Everything is just more Lavender Town. I'm meant to be red. I still am red. I'm just an old man now because time has passed. Oh, hey, there's the guy I killed. I forgot, the tombstones of people you killed still stay. Everyone else just kind of vanishes otherwise. There we go. I sure do hope a Tails doll doesn't come out of nowhere and try and kill me. But if I do find one covered in blood, I'll be sure to just wash that off without any explanation. I won't question that. Did they just bury him in the forest? No, he just died in the forest. The tombstone just shows up because why not? Just throw in the washing machine. Just a spooky old man. Kind of good I actually ran out of stories to read before uh, reaching this part. But no, if y'all like it, I'll try it again sometime. I'll make a better, pre actual better prepared full list of crap. And I'll just do it for another playthrough or something sometime. This is probably the most wild one-off I've ever done. Thanks for this up there, friend. Welcome. Hey. Hey, I can jump from ledges. That's cool. What happens if I try and use the PC? Can I save? I don't know if I should save like that. Nope, this hack is a perfect recreation, so it makes you play the entirety of RBY. You need that for the full experience, though. Is the hidden potion there? Can I pick that up? Nope, I can't pick up anything. You have to check from the other side, though. So it was a very, very long stream. It was supposed to be... I almost thought it was going to be too short, but again, two of the games were more than twice as long as I expected. I'm like, if I go in here, there's just no one there. Can I read the signs? Hang on, I'll read the next one I come across. Over there. Yep, signs are normal. So again, probably just do a short day tomorrow, because I'm, I'm teetering on eight hours total today. Uh, can I go in there? Hang on. I'm going to make a... Just in case the game breaks from this. No, they don't work, okay. Probably the best thing you could do for that.
What? There are no Pokemon here. What? You don't have any Pokemon. If you change your box, data will be saved. It's a matter. There's nothing stored. You have nothing to deposit. Wow, they, they thought of this better than uh, the actual devs. Almost there. Just a bit further. Just a bit further. You're almost home, Red. We're almost out of copyright hell. I love how, like, playing a creepypasta game, but I have to mute Lavender Town. That's the world we live in. Hi, Mom. I'm home. It hasn't been working for years. Wow, they actually changed that. Oops, wrong side. It hasn't been working for years. Oh, okay. It's still playing Lavender Town? This is Okay, so what this is... This is every single Pokemon I killed. Lavender Town is getting more distorted as it goes on, by the way. Should be fine to let it play now. There we go. Every single Pokemon I killed. Look at that. The fact that they were able to set it up like this is pretty amazing. Like, it made it look exactly like the story goes. That's why I said you gotta play the full game for the full effect. You can probably gauge where I was when, um, this starts happening here. This is why I didn't kill wild Pokemon, because I knew it would make this take longer. Wild Plume, War Turtle. It's repeating Ghastly over and over, that's why Ghastly pauses there. Because I was through the Pokemon Tower. Because if it changes Ghastly to Ghastly, you don't really notice it changing. That was another rival fight. Snorlax. Okay, there's Fuchsia. Still going, Mr. Mime. There's Sabrina's team. Here comes Blaine's team. Oh, I guess not. Okay, there was Blaine's team. Here comes Giovanni. Here comes my rival's battle there before, um, the victory road. And here's the Elite Four. Uh-oh. I killed one Charmander. It was in the way, yo-yo. Oh. Oh, there's all the people I killed now. All right, we get to see all them, too. You know. Because why not? Two, my, two Charmanders, you monster. Hey, they're in the way! Why got be like that? I tried to be friends with the Charmanders, but they were in the way. They had to die. I killed multiple lasses in a row there. That's why... I, oh, the Chandlers just repeat for a while because I killed a bunch of them. Team Rocket Grunts. Toga. One swimmer was there. Blaine. Oh. Okay, it's still playing... It's playing regular Lavender Town now. I gotta mute it. Ghost wants to fight. It's the level I got it to. Red use struggle. Can't escape. Dot, dot, dot. And everything. Just a bit more. Ghost use curse. I got cursed after uh, doing it to everyone else. And the screen goes black. I think this is the where it stops. Yeah, it stops. You're supposed to reset here, I believe. Oh, did it hard crash? Does soft reset not work? 
Yeah, okay, I have to soft reset. Or hard reset, hang on. Oops, trying to get it here. There we go. And when you go back after that, the save file should be deleted. Yep, there it is. So that was Pokemon Black. A full recreation of the old spooky story. That was certainly something else now, wasn't it? Like, I read the story again before going into this, and yeah, it really does just recreate every detail that's mentioned there. You really do gotta go through all the game, though. There we go. Let me set up here. Okay. Looks good. That was it. I don't know if there's anything silly you can do, because I think in the story uh, it was also made... The, the author said that they tried going through the game again without killing anybody, and the ghost still kills you at the end. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. This was a weird one-off I certainly did. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops. So I guess have a good night. Bye-bye.